Let's go. Uh, we are here. The first round of 12 in Titans League. With me, I have the Viper, who will actually be playing the winner of this series tomorrow in the quarters. Uh, we have Yo in the red playing as the Burgundians on game one, which is Ravines. And then we have Leary playing as the Tatars. And already, Viper, we're seeing a big mix-up in Civilizations. If anyone's confused, it's because we have introduced a lot more global bans. And that, along with having to play best of fives now, is going to change all the matchups quite drastically. Uh, how many global bans are there? I think, it's, I think it's three. If I remember what I just saw like 30 seconds ago, I think it's three globals. Okay. So... Yeah, that definitely changes things. I, I don't think you would see Tatars here normally, right? Mm -hmm. You can argue, sure, there's this crater around the base, but that's like, that's the only place on the map there are any hills. It's yeah. like just this 20, 30 tiles around the TCs. So every other fight, there will be no chance to use that Tatars advantage. But uh, anyway, there's still a lot of hunt here. There's plenty of sheep as well, and Tatars are Tatars. They're very solid sieve. But Burgundians on the other side, they're quite ridiculous. Yeah, and very ridiculous. Knowing the Chinese players, they tend to want to go for the castle and the Custelier. And I would be very surprised if that's not what Yo aims for. Yeah, I, I feel like Yo, Vivi, those are the players who might like wall up a bit. Uh, maybe play defensive in Feudal with a bit of an archery range play. But yeah, Burgundians, the cheaper eco technologies and can research them one age earlier. I think everyone's been talking a lot about how uh, that is possibly too strong. And... Uh, while Burgundians have been seen on a lot of arena fortified clearing maps where they don't have to work too hard for their bonuses, at least here, the Yo will have to do that. Ravines is known as more closed map, but you actually have to, you know, place the walls. And uh, at this level, I wouldn't expect tons of feudal age aggression to get value, but it does happen sometimes. Yeah, especially now that you have Burgundians, uh, Leary might be looking to put on a lot of pressure in the feudal age. And yes, you can argue that it's fairly easy to wall in theory, but it also is quite awkward with all the hills and like you're not guaranteed to have your like safe resources right sure mm -hmm. there is gold and stone quite equally spread around the town centers but if yo doesn't get like these quite forward walls he could easily have both his goals quite exposed yeah. to some aggression from tatters and if tatters get into these hills it's really hard to recover that position yeah i guess what will be interesting for me is like everyone likes to talk about leary playing into archers and he's obviously quite good at that but his civilization does not get Arbalest, so this will not be a game that's straightforward for Leary, where he can open with archers, play throughout archers all the way up towards Imp, and he's not really a player that I remember a lot of Cav Archer transitions from. Now, this is not to say he can't do it, but he's always been, uh, you know, the conversation's always the same with him. Archers <laughs> into great macro, into dominating the mid-game, so I think, you know, in theory, you're not going to be able to uh, stay on archers the whole time, might need to see some of the flaming camels or the Keshiks from the <laughs> Tatars later on. So I'm excited to see how Lear will perform here. He was a little uh, a little greedy at times, I guess, in the group stage. Uh, I mean, it obviously got second place in his group, but uh, I was surprised at how one-sided he was. Archers, archers, archers almost every game. Yeah, like you said, that's kind of Lear's uh, what he's known for. So I'm not surprised about that either. I didn't watch too much of the games, but... <laughs> Sure. Doesn't surprise me to hear yeah. that he went a lot of archers. Uh, we already see Yo kind of Yo is definitely already preparing for the Burgundian. He wants to be safe, get that those equip upgrades. He already has double bid axe, mm -hmm. and I'm pretty certain this might be him building towards trying to be greedy to get to the castle age. But Leary is already way onto the feudal age, and yeah. that's a very quick uptime. So we'll see what he wants to do with it. I would imagine it might be archers. Uh, could be men at arms. I don't think it's scouts. That would surprise me because you have, don't have the same amount of potential for damage with scouts, mm. I would say. Yeah. Well, it is crazy. So he's pushed in almost all of his deer. He's got one left next to his mill, so he can take that no problem. He then has seven sheep, and that's seven times 150 because he's Tatars. And he still has some deer to finish off underneath his TC. So, I mean, his food's going to be there. Uh, he has not actually gone to gold yet. So maybe this is, you know... Leary going for something completely different than what Yo would expect. And by the way, Yo has to be careful. He actually does have sheep on the front that he somehow hasn't found. So, where Leary, what the? How does that this happen? Never happen. Yeah. <laughs> Considering the, the map, you know the layout of the map. The, if they're if you're running uphill, you're running towards the town center. Most it, likely, it's there. the only hill on the whole yeah. map. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a little bit sloppy on Leary's end, but I mean, he didn't take too much damage. He was probably uh... preparing his whole transition in, into the feudal <laughs> 
at the moment it looks like Lira is going scouts actually, which is a bit surprising to me because yeah. that's kind of like that's probably the easiest thing to defend in Yo's shoes right now. Mm -hmm. So here's a question: someone brought it up watching, and I actually don't know the answer to this, so it's a genuine question. Does the Tatar TC do more damage when firing on things here? Like, if there were boars on this map and you were to try and weaken the boar with your TC, would that affect the damage output? I have no idea. Someone needs to test that. Because, like, yeah. I guess it's good we don't have boars here. Because I could see Leary shooting his own boar down if that bonus actually applies. It's weird. Interesting that Leary scouted the sheep. He sees the sheep. It's in his vision, but he didn't take them. Hmm. Maybe he's circling back now to actually take them. But Yeah. Because he's tatters as well, right? If he takes them, there's another potentially three, roughly 300 food. So, mm -hmm. yeah, yep. he now takes them. And, yeah, that's, a, I would say, a good start for Leary. But, yeah, I'm a bit questionable regarding his uh, save choice as he gets some nice hits on the scout of Yo with his spearman here. Uh, not save choice, a uh, unit choice. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Yeah, maybe, um, you know, I think what we talked about earlier with Leary could be a downside for him going into this. Um, he has played play all threes, but you know, clearly has been a little one-sided with his choices. And now if you can ban away all the civilizations that have been played in the early rounds, it might take Leary some time to figure things out a bit. Uh, both players a little sloppy with their starting scouts here, as they both lost a scout so far. Yeah, indeed. Yo is adding a stable as well, but I don't think Yo is going to make a single scout here. I think that's just to have the stable and potentially make a transition later. Mm -hmm. He's got a few ledge building as well. He's probably just going to use the Spearman. You can see he's already going for both cast ledge economy upgrades. So Heavy Plow and Bowsaw. So his economy long term is going to be really, really good. He did well slow down his cast ledge time a little bit though. So if Leary does follow up with ranges, maybe fast cow watchers or crossbows, there's still a lot of potential here. But yeah, like I said earlier, scouts, there's not too much damage to find. Especially, you should be able to expect that Yo will be fully walled. Yeah. So Leary now made two scouts and they're just going to be hitting outposts and running away from Spearman. Yeah, and you start with those outposts, that's not a big deal. And apparently he's not running away from Spearman as he takes two <laughs> hits. Um, oh. almost took another hit there as well. So yeah, I think maybe we've seen a little bit of the first game of the day uh, situations for both players so far. It's definitely been a little sloppy with the unit control. But I'll be curious now to see what Yo's resources will look like. With the Burgundians, you're expecting when they reach Castle Age that they're going to just dominate here because of having all these farms have the Castle Age what a, uh, farm upgrade, excuse me, but... There is potential that maybe Leary could go for some early archer switch. He's got the range up now. Uh, if he's really foreseeing Burgundians to be a problem, he could take an all-in approach of some kind and even sell stone and go up to Castle Age a little faster. But I don't know. Like I don't like all-in plays on this map because mm -hmm. you are so far apart and it is so easy to play safe. Yeah, I think I, I like that he's doing the Archer transition now because he should still expect to have a slightly faster cast ledge time. Mm -hmm. And if Yo wants to go coastal here, that also takes a lot of time. He needs to mine another 450 stone. Yeah, true. So yep. if he gets like seven, eight crossbows forward across the map, there's still a huge potential for damage there. But uh, yeah, I think in the end though, Tatars isn't a bad matchup in Imperial Age against Burgundians. Like, people really don't give Tatars enough credit for the late game. Those Cow Watchers have insane armor. They have an amazing, unique unit in the Keshek. Yeah. They have access to a Siege Ram. Do they have Siege Ram? No, they don't. Uh, they actually, I actually think they do. Skirmishers. They I do? think they do. Yeah, Siege Ram, Hussar, Keshek. They have everything they could possibly want for a mm -hmm. late game scenario as well, except maybe Bomber Cannons. So, even if it goes to late game, I think it's still not like Burgundians has a free win here. Well, I feel like Cav Archer civilizations are some of the best civilizations to have against the Burgundians because like, the Burgundians are almost always going to play into like Halb Paladin if they have their way. Mm -hmm. uh, and that would be quite weak against 40, 50 Cav Archers. Now, obviously, we're assuming an awful lot, and that's a big number to quote. But uh, interesting side note here, though. Yo did, before he lost his scout, see the range. So actually, I think he saw both ranges. Yeah, so he saw the second one was coming up. So he should have an idea now that pressure's coming in. And that gold is a little bit exposed for him there near where he lost that outpost, but uh, he's just now going to make a skirm. And I actually like how Leary just said, eh, screw it, I don't need fletching right now. I don't like how he's losing another scout, but Leary knows that Castle is going to be the best potential for him to do damage with free thumb ring, and he'll probably be moving out here shortly. 
Yeah, I'm surprised he's not moving out already. Like, he just saw the range being built now, so he should know there's not units on the map to be mm -hmm. threatening. And, yeah, Yo is going for... I would say this is a very greedy defense, right? Of course, skirmishers against crossbows, in theory, skirmishers should be able to defend, but you need a lot of upgrades to actually yeah. trade well against uh, Tatar's crossbows on the hills. You probably need plus two armor, you need Vulcan arrow, you need elite skirms, and that's a lot of upgrades, and it takes a lot of time to research them. And Leary has a one and a half minutes castlage timing here. So I, I think this is... There's a lot of potential there for Leary if he actually ever moves across the map. Yeah, yeah, he's going to move out now. Um... The thing to remember is Yo's economy, at least with food and wood, should be incredible here. Uh, Yo is shoring up his defenses on the left side. Uh, you could tell that that uptime from Leary, and I guess just the potential of it as well, really forced Yo to be more defensive than he would have maybe wanted with his walls. A lot of players would wall from that barracks to the edge of the map, and they'd secure a lot of extra space for town centers and such, but Yo is unable to do that. For now, though, he's stonewalling, and he might actually kill the final scout there for Leary. And that's like the third scout I think Leary's lost yeah. to a Spearman, so that's just not something you see every day. Yeah. This is also where I feel like Leary should have already been across the map way earlier, because uh, now there are, now it's full of walls, right? There's stone walls and houses wherever he wants to potentially break. So yep, yep. the timing is not necessarily gone. He can still poke and get some damage, but there is way less potential now than he had earlier. So here's a question, maybe too late to ask this question. Which player would you like to face the most out of these two? Probably I, Yo. You think you'd prefer to play Yo? I gotcha. Well, because he won the last tournament, so I want to play against him. Ah, I see. Okay. But, uh, yeah, obviously, I, I don't really mind. I mean, it's not <laughs> like either of these players are seen as weak in our scene, right? It's not yeah. like it's not like uh, you're going to have it's a not favorite. not average Randall 12. Yeah, exactly. So. All right, Elite Skirm coming in, Bodkin coming in. Now, this is where it gets weird with that Tatar bonus, right? Because Yo will have a hill to defend against the Tatars. And I guess if he tries to move up his, like, out away from his town center, then he could run into some of that hill bonus damage that the Tatars can bring. And, and Leary happily just shooting down some farms for now. Uh, would like to see him maybe shift over to the gold a little bit more frequently here, but he's going to come forward with the Siege Workshop. The thing, though, is the goal isn't important for Yo right now, so sure. Leary yep. doesn't really need to address that yet. Leary is going for, he still won't he did in university. Like, this feels a bit naive almost from Leary, expecting that he can get this amount of damage to go for even university and yeah. forward Sea Workshop now, right? Yo is Burgundian, so he already has a better eco. If, let me check resource collector already. Yeah, Yo has already collected like 600 more resources, so... Mm -hmm. He's already ahead economically, and he has the hills to defend with now. A seed workshop himself is an easy way to just shut down this aggression as well. And if Leary doesn't get any value here, he's just going to be very far behind economically. So I know you didn't watch uh, Leary in the group stage, but in his mm -hmm. set against Vinchester, which was like, oh, everyone has won, as we see an interesting engagement for you. I know he has armor, but these crossbows will have the hill in some situations, and they're also... In a much larger number, so I don't I don't agree with this fight at all for Yo. What do you think? I'll continue my point yeah. later. <laughs> yeah, absolutely agree. I think Yo just maybe didn't expect Lyra to just run at him and take the fight. Yeah. Once he had plus two armor, but yeah, um, yeah, it was a good fight for Lyra. Lyra obviously has thumbering as well, given that he's Tatars, that helps a lot as well. Uh, but Yo is oh look at Yo's castle. He wanted to place it forward, but seeing the Mangana and losing his skirms, he changed his mind. Ah, and now he's going for like a, that's an extremely defensive castle, but. I guess in the end, he just wants to get some coastal area out because, I mean, once you have like four of those bad boys, you can just run in and snipe any mangonel as well. Yep, yep. They're very strong. But yeah, so quickly back to my point before Leary advances in here. Basically, when it was Leary Vinchester, Leary at one point was sitting behind his walls with 50 Britain crossbowmen never moving out. It's just always archers, never any transition, just archer, archer, archer. And it de definitely felt a little stubborn at times. And so mm -hmm. maybe, you know, that's where he's at right now. Uh, hasn't felt the need to transition much. Did get second place in his group. And actually, things are looking pretty good as far as control goes for him. Yo has had to abandon a lot of his farms. Yo did have to switch over to the other gold, which is no big deal. It's just so funny to me, though, how Yo has placed the castle, which will actually end up being quite good if Leary ever tries to reposition over to the left side. It's like he thought that Leary would switch over here before Leary even thought about it. Yes. Yeah. Stable still go down here, though, Viper. Yeah, and probably before Husband Rick kicks in as well. Not a big deal, but it's still a bit annoying to have to uh, remake it. Yo is sending villagers out on the top side now. 
Very ballsy build. So I guess he just wants to get a TC up on the like a little bit. Not so he's not all trapped inside his base here. Yeah, so he gets yeah. to expand a little bit, which is fair enough. Uh, it's quite risky though, but yeah, he's gonna get away with it because he has all the vision he would want with the outposts. But yeah, on on your point, sure, Leary is getting a lot of map control here and such. But still, this is like if you're Burgundians here, you're super comfortable. You might lose a couple of houses, but you haven't really lost any economy. You know that you're still probably way ahead in the eco. Mm -hmm. Village account might be quite similar, but you have had better upgrades from the get-go, so the transitions are just way better for you. Ooh, that was a big shot there. And you can tell Yo is expecting the next Manganel to come out because he brought his Custier out. But Leary with a sick attack round there. Now, will Leary notice? He does notice, Viper, that there's yeah. a Manganel from Yo, and good micro all around here from both players. This is very well done. Uh, what time do you have right now? Uh, I'm at 26... 43, 26, okay, okay. 46. Okay, we're good. Because I, I know we had uh, both checked the resources, but I don't think that has an effect on the time, so we should be okay. Uh, it sounded like in the background that it sped up, so I was a bit uh, gotcha. confused about that. Yeah, yeah no worries. Uh, 61 villagers for Yo, 55 for Leary. It's still in my mind as we see these fights continue. I am wondering what is Leary's long term, and he's actually going to start to make those cav archers here, Viper. So mm -hmm. uh, at least he, he recognizes that Tatars will not have an Arbalest window. Cav Archers will need more upgrades, though. Uh, do need to consider getting a stable up and getting bloodlines and getting husbandry. And so I don't, I don't think that fast imp potential is really there with Cav Archers because you do need to spend a lot of food to really max out on them in Castle Age. Indeed, but looking at the resource now, Lyra might just still choose to prioritize Imperial Age before... Uh, doing those upgrades. Mm -hmm. um, he did queue up another couple of villages now, so maybe not, but he could easily idle everything now, all the production, and just kind of go Imperial Age, but the question is, what do you actually actually gain from that? So Yeah. Yeah, he might be better off just trying to keep the map control, and like, what he's doing with this map control, to be fair, is denying you all the relics. So, that is one of the small advantages he has here. But, uh... He's also, he has a lot of potential to pressure the town center now on the top side that Yo did greedily go out for. But yeah, Yo doesn't dependent. know that there's a town center for Leary. That town center is actually so nice here as a good attack round goes in. Plus, there should be a conversion. This is not bad for Leary. It's a really good engagement. Yeah. For sure. And then uh, one, one hit the monk, as usual. And still, uh, just getting those couple of hits. Look at look at the couch and um, HP. They went down to four HP after like one hit. <laughs> Even it's though that's so the best that's the best possible scenario for Leary with that fight, yeah. he still lost that much HP. Yeah. Unit's insane. Also, Leary did lose some crossbows to Yo's TC as he was multitasking there. And Yo's just shifting over to that stone. So Yo will know that he needs a defensive castle up there shortly. But Leary's gonna circle back around now to take out this counterattack from Yo. And he should be able to make quick work of this. Yo reacts a little bit late. Does end up reacting now, goes in for the Cav Archers, but Leary focusing them down nicely. And this is a good first game to start off the series. It's so really curious as Yo comes in and he snipes all the Siege Viper. You might have noticed it. Yeah. He's curious of what the long term looks like here for Leary because he is reacting an awful lot now. Yeah, that's the issue now as well, right? I mean, again, the crossbows here, sure, they would win the fight, but still he would lose. Like, the one one crossbow got instantly sniped, so, like, Yo just wants to dwindle down the numbers because the Kuzlier just... There's so much damage poten potential with them. Mm -hmm. If they get into your eco at all, they just kill villagers so fast. So Leary has to kind of just constantly react and chase these guys. And that gives you all the time he needs at home to take the stone he needs, get a second castle, just keep control. And he's now in under the TC as well. Look at those costly, like one villager, two villagers, three villagers. The villagers go down so far fast and Leary is just busy chasing and microing against three costly in his own base at the same time losing so much in the middle. Yeah, and it just feels, I mean, I, I get in Leary's mind, he was probably thinking that if I lose control, this game is over anyways. But that middle TC is just such an easy target for Yo. Such a great job from Yo. Small counterattacks, force Leary's hand. Leary has to come home to deal with it. And then there's an instant follow-up every single time. Castle will go up for Yo, which means the town center for Leary will go down. And Yo's eco has been pretty much untouched, Viper. And while it looked awkward for a time, I mean, it's funny, it looked more awkward than you made it seem like it was, at least to me, because I was like, wow. There's Manganels and there's crossbows from Tatars and yeah. Leary. <laughs> it, like you said, it's just like not a big deal at the end of the day for Yo. Cool, calm, collected. Uh, he's just massacring Leary now. Oh, this unit is so dumb, man. <laughs> I hate it. I'm glad. But, I'm uh, glad that you agree on that statement because I I have uh, had to 
it sounds crazy for anyone who listens to me, but I've been trying to hold back a little bit with some of the Hindustani, Gurjara, and Burgundian talks. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> because it's so easy to talk about, but this Civ is just so bonkers right now, man. I've been calling for Burgundian's nerfs since pretty much release. Since the, the way the Custelier was introduced. It, I mean, it was introduced with a bug where it did even double charge Yeah, damage, yeah, yeah, but, exactly. But, like, even after that, I've still been calling for nerfs for this unit for since then. Yep. It's, it's ridiculously good. And, like, you said it as well, like, small counterattacks. And that's what it seems like, right? Three Custelier, but that's so much potential for damage still. And it's such an investment to deal with it. And you just need, like, three, four of the, that unit spread mm -hmm. around. And it's just so hard to deal with. Like, like even now. That's four close there to get on top of your crossbows. Bam, your crossbows are gone. And, yeah, and and yeah. this is this is where Tatars should shine, right? You've got thumb ring, you've got cav archers, you've got a decent mass, and Yosh is everywhere. And Yosh's gonna click up to imp after his third castle towards the middle. We do have Leary on the way up. I think Leary certainly will recognize right now how tough it's gonna be for him to come back in this one. I see Yo's castle will likely complete in the middle, and Leary's economy is just getting oh. thrashed by these units in the back. Yeah, and Leary never did, even though he rushed to university right from the get-go, he never did ballistics. Mm -hmm. yep. So those Kuz Leary has even had more potential to just run around and pick up units, because they, they just never die, right? Unless they're standing still. Yep. So that's when, even when they run on the town centers, they're, like, they're going to kill 7, 8, 10 bills before they even get out of there. And Yo wins the game with a 23 villager lead in the end, and that's all due to those very small custodial rates that seem quite big. Yeah, so Viper, I mean, there's a lot of things to talk about here before we move into the second game. I think like the first one is, what do we think the civilization choices as a whole? Obviously, we understand Burgundians are strong, um, but Tatars. Now, maybe we have to go back to the draft, but did it ever feel convincing for you? Like from, from the first second, did you ever look at Tatars and feel like they could do something a lot on this map, or are we just not giving Tatars enough credit because of maybe the strategy approach from Leary and just how good the Burgundians were for, with Yo. I think, I mean, if you take Burgundians out of the equation, I still think Tatars are a very good Civ and they have potential on this map. Sure. But I, I don't agree with Leary's scout opening. I think that one just slows down whatever potential for aggression he has because Yo is obviously going to be fully walled with Burgundians. Yep. And just a couple of spearmen is enough to defend against the scouts. And yeah, like, if those cross, if he had like a quick archer follow up right away, maybe, but or maybe just man arms into archer, something that would be a little bit more threatening in the early game. Yeah, sure. Because Yo just got to play a super smooth defensive passive gamer, which is kind of where Burgundians shine at the moment. And then on top of that, Leary also went for the instant university in Castle Age, just slowed him down even more, and he didn't even do any upgrades in the university. True. So, yeah, it was very indecisive, wasn't it? At the university. Then add the siege workshop, then not research anything in the university, then try and boom. TC in the middle, but you don't have... It just... The order of events didn't necessarily make sense and all fit into place there for Leary. Uh, but yeah. certainly a dream start for Yo. Remember, everyone who's like, why is Yo playing Leary in a round of 12? Yo almost didn't actually move out of his group. Uh, he was third place in his group. Um, and so the third place in each group will play the second place in each group in the round of 12s. Mr. Second Place just lost the first game here in Leary, so I'm excited to see what his home maps will bring because it's most likely going to be something that's a little less boomy, if I had to guess. Here we are, game two. And, uh, oh man, what a Civ matchup. This is a really <laughs> fascinating one. So we have Saracens for Leary. We just had a conversation about how he loves his Archer all-ins. And then we have the Cumans for Yo. After five weeks of the group stage and seeing the same civilizations all the time, I'm happy to see some civs that we had not seen played at all in the earlier rounds. Viper, can Yo get away with the 2TC boom here, or do you think that's just too crazy? It is definitely crazy. Uh, Saracen's obviously massive potential for damage, and I'm also looking like look at Yo's main gold here. Mm -hmm. If he's trying to place a TC, like to secure that gold, he probably has to put a TC on the northern side of that gold. Yeah. Which means that Leary can just sit on the hill with his crossbows and probably take out the town center. So uh, I, I would not be surprised to see Yo scout the map and identify the situation and just think that, okay, I'm just going to play Feudalage. Or, I mean, Cubans is not a bad save to play Feudalage. You have cheaper stables and archer ranges. Yeah. So Yo might just do that mind game and like just play a standard game. But later on the other side, I think it's fairly predictable what he will do. He just straight archer opening, maybe a rush past castle into crossbows. But one way or another, Lyra is going to make archers. That's for sure. I feel like if the roles were reversed with the maps, that Yo would definitely 2TC boom because 
that wood line and gold position right there for uh, for Leary is just fantastic for yeah, that. It's a um, crazy map. <laughs> I mean, it, it's fantastic in general, right? Like, the only thing you're not going to have easy access to would probably be stone. And we did use very similar map script to what we saw in the Resurgence Arabia because we have mm -hmm. Jungle Swamp and we have Atacama. We have really, really open maps, so I didn't want to have, like, three or four maps that were similar in that way. Uh, so it's definitely mm -hmm. a more closed version of Arabia, and I, I think Leary's not going to have any complaints when he sees this gold spot. As it's just sick. Honestly, at this point, you could Leary could do whatever he wanted there. He could just go fast fuel, market blacksmith, and then he can decide what tech to make. Even like a fast castle with a forge stable in the siege workshop, kind of Huang style. Yeah, would be a potentially a very good option here. Uh, but knowing Leary, probably he would still want to go with those crossbowmen of his. But uh, yeah, like with his his map is the. One of the better maps I've ever seen, honestly, in Arabia. So, you know, one of my not favorite. E oh, sorry. Go ahead. I just want to say, there's not even like any weak. Like normally, if you have a map, there's like at least one or two points where it's like, okay, but there's a nasty hill here that could be dangerous. Yeah, but, right. Like, it's just nothing. This is just <laughs> a perfect map. Well, I mean, okay. So if if he doesn't play out well into early castle age, all of his other golds and stones are exposed. But it's like that's just, that's the same thing for Yo. <laughs> it's not like Yo doesn't yeah. have that same conversation. So, I guess Yo Stone in theory is safer. Uh, but he ha certainly has a lot more work to do. And one of my favorite strategies uh, with the Saracens, I mean, there's so many interesting talking points with the Saracens, but I think the trend was started in Battle of Africa where people were picking Cumans to boom, and then people started to pick Saracens because Saracen archers destroy those Cuman Palisades a little bit faster. And it's just really fascinating. And so to see this now in a 1v1, you have to be twice as hesitant to go for a 2TC boom here. Uh, if you're up against the Saracens with that potential. Um, they, even their crossbows could take out your second TC before you're in Castle Age. So, y'all will probably go feudal here, Viper. Are you thinking you should play into skirmishers or archers yourself, or should you try, hope for the best, and go for a scout build, possibly? I think Yo probably doesn't mind the stable opening. Um, like I, I've played him a ladder before where he was Cumans, and he opened stable range before mm -hmm. adding the second town center. Even with that, you still get a healthy villager lead and you're not far behind in cast stage to your opponent especially if he's playing quite standard as well yeah so i think that's definitely a viable option yo is missing two of his sheep here i guess he's been pushing deer the whole game so a bit greedy those two goats or llamas are quite far far forward so sure. yep there is scattered a little bit of a diff different direction he could have maybe stolen those but yeah yo is going to go 20 population to fuel age which is a standard timing with humans but if you wanted to go for the really fast second TC, usually you might even go 18 or 19 pop. Yep. Um, but yeah, Yo is now transitioning more bills to the Stragger Tree, so he's taking that extra wood, and it actually looks like he's just going to go for that second town center right away. Yeah, I think he'd go two Lumber Camps if he was going for anything else. All right, so any guesses on where he... Oh, no, there's the Lumber Camp. Well, now, I, now mm. I'm not sure he's going to go for the TC. I think now yeah. he's going to make a barracks on the front yeah, and then agreed. follow it up. He's already preparing the the kind of the wall with the villager placing house. He'll probably build a barracks next to that one. Yep. On the other side, we see Leary doing a double lumber camp himself and taking gold now as well. So Leary looks like he's just going to open archers, but he probably has to be quite careful with how he uses them. And yeah, I would imagine it's just an archer opening into adapting and still following it up with a really fast castleage. Well, okay. So Leary seeing this barracks is actually a big thing for him because he didn't see how many villagers Yo had on wood. Mm -hmm. And so him seeing that will tell him that this is going to be some type of feudal age play from his opponent. Uh, anytime I'm playing against the Cumans, I'm always stressing out because you've committed to your strategy already, but you don't exactly know what they're going to do until around this time of the game. So good job from Leary. Yo hasn't even found Leary yet, and there's actually a, a great possibility he will run directly into that town center if he's not careful. But no, he sees the house, and he that might even tell him, this guy's got some walls down <laughs> if I'm running right yeah. towards that TC. Even if you oh. did, there's only two two villagers oh, under the oh. Yo's TC. Oh, Yo's TC. Yeah. That's actually huge. Oh, my God. That's 300 food. And as Cumans in the situation is, is right now, where he's trying to go archers against a Saracen player. Well, he's kind of getting the back to, but now Lyra can just kill them. Yeah. So yeah. Snipe one. Honestly, you even give the Llama to, to Yo to kill them here. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, there's a big chance Yo will be able to take them back. Did you see what happened to Slam in his... Uh, game three against Capwatch. I did not, but it sounds like not good. He had, so he he needed three wins to stay alive, and he was up two zero. Mm -hmm. 
and mm -hmm. he lost five sheep just like that. Uh, he lost five sheep, and then he drushed not having scouted his opponent. It was just like the saddest thing ever. Pain. And that's that's what yeah, that's what that reminded me of. But good heads up play from Leary there. I mean, that's not something you see every day. Uh, mm -hmm. But he does end up losing his scout. But I think doing that does force Yo into farms a little bit earlier. Obviously, makes the transitions a bit more awkward for Yo. But I, I think even without that. You're still going to love life if you're Saracens because with that market, man, you're able to buy and sell your way up to the next age pretty quickly. So odds are yeah. that Leary will be in Castle Age faster, and I just would always feel like I'm completely helpless if I'm in U.S. position right now. Yeah, like I said, playing archers, like straight up one range archer build against the Saracen player is just... You're, you're always behind, kind of. Yeah, uh, yeah. He loses his scout now as well, and you're always trying to be aggressive even, which is like... I feel like that's so risky. You might even just initiate a snowball the other way around. Because if those artists get picked off, yeah. Lyra's going to jump on them the second he sees the, or feels the taste of blood. Uh, or the smell, smell of blood, rather. So if those if he kills those artists here, Leary, I think Yo is going to struggle big time. Well, no fletching yet for the Austrian. And I think that is something that sometimes the Saracen players will be too greedy with. They won't play into the standard blacksmith to get upgrades and they'll just try and get castle age faster than you but if now fletching is in uh yo got some really good hits though and he also has a skirmisher here but leary just retaliates with his own hit snipes the archer runs back to his tc yeah, there's no reason for leary to take any risks right now and just chill out uh, obviously needs to complete this market here which he might not be able to do just yet so far i'd say so good for yo that he's at least applying some pressure and delaying what Leary's plan is, but we do we both know that that plan is very, very strong for the Saracens. Yeah. In the end, Leary will just trade off whatever he feels like is a decent trade. The market is now up, so the stone will be sold pretty soon, I'd imagine. Uh, you're always adding a second TC now, by the way. Mm. So, uh, ah, it's, it's dangerous, man. <laughs> that's also going to slow down your cast save so much. And yeah. like, Leary behind this could drop a stable, make two scouts as well and clean up that and then follow it up with aggression he could even play like monk siege from here from this point forward and that main gold of yo is still just like looks so exposed as well i love what yo is doing though so for the a lot of people still don't know this and i don't remember if this was a thing in the past pre-de or if it's relatively new but certainly over the last year or two people have done it if you attack the farm the farmers can't collect food from it so you can see those yep. two that farmer on the front just standing there so leary essentially has two useless farms right now he's also housed well okay he's fixed that and he's about to click up but he's only got well i was i was expecting it to say four but he actually has more archers out as he pops out and uh oh yeah this is maybe what you were talking about viper you're potentially leading to it being a worse snowball against you nice pickoffs there from leary as he runs away with those three archers there yeah, uh, the, I don't understand the logic behind the farm thing there. It's quite annoying to play against. Yeah, it, it is. It doesn't really make sense. Yeah. But yeah, um, Lyra will try to save those archers. I think he should be able to. It's just skirmishers. He will be able to wall behind as he runs in. And at the same time, he's cleaning down more archers in the front for Yo. Yo does uh, have the armor upgrade though for the skirm. So whenever he gets any trades with skirms, it's very good for him. Mm -hmm. And also, this is buying a lot of time. But, I mean, look at Yo's food as well. Lyra is one and a half minutes away from Castle Age, and Yo is like. 2TC booming yep. miles away. Yeah, and I think normally you would say uh, like tower defense or lots of walls. Uh, Cumin Palisades having more HP is very helpful. But the Saracens pretty much eliminate the whole walling aspect. And I think even the houses, like this is a very yo thing in general, but the houses on the left side is very good. He does have one area with a palisade that he should still probably house wall behind, but... I just don't know if that's really going to hold, <laughs> but we'll see because the Vill lead's there. It's 42 villagers versus 32. If you believe in Leary as a player, this is the type of area that he normally shines in. So we'll find yeah. out. I mean, uh, I think the left side is quite irrelevant anyway because mm -hmm. I mean, Yo has moved to stone now. He needs towers. He probably knows that himself. He probably suspects what's going on as well. The castage time is now 18 minutes. Bot can on the way immediately. Crossbow will follow right after this last archer and yo made outpost though it's very nice outpost and now he's trying to rush towers but yeah those towers might even also be a bit too late if leary goes exactly to that point but either way i don't see how yo is going to take gold from his main gold anymore yep could maybe switch over to the gold on the left good thing for yo is he hasn't lost a bill yet but he's able to get his stone secured here so that could lead to more towers 
He also have an interesting little position with his skirms. It's kind of unfortunate. Does he see that villager building the siege workshop? Because he might want to try and deny that. Oh, he does he see, does it, see it's, it. It's kind of already up, though. He should not be able to do that. Yeah. yeah Mangrel on the way as well now. And you said Yo did secure his stone in some way, yes? But for how long? That's question. Yeah. Oh. Once the assassins, crossbows, and one or two mangonels out, one human tower, probably not going to be enough to keep him safer. This is looking really good for Lear right now. This is the risk of the two TCs, and we knew it going into it because we saw the Civ matchup. Feels like Saracens are maybe one of the best Civ matchups up against Kumans, especially with a map like this, and Yo is in really dangerous territory here, but the mangonel can't hit him for now. So here he goes, trying to get the villager, actually. Now that could be helpful if there's no villager there to repair, but yo doesn't take too to stay much under the damage. Nail, that's the issue. Uh, yeah. <laughs> At this I point, just... I think you should he should have just tried to trade against as many crossbows as possible. Yeah. Those yeah, skirmishes are kind of irrelevant for the continuation of this game. Yo is on the way to Castle, so he was able to to use the market to trade his way up, but long term is it's always going to be the issue. How does he take gold? Now he does have the gold on the left side. That he will go to. Leary knows it's there though, so Leary will be easily able to realize that's what's happening. Mm -hmm. He might send a few units there. Behind this, Leary is actually adding a second TC himself, so it's not one of those super all in one TC only, yeah, Saracens forever type of plays. Yeah, his eco is pretty good. I mean, I'd like to see him squeeze in Horse Collar possibly, as he again saves his villager here. Man, I mean, Yo one hasn't HP. killed it. <laughs> Yo hasn't killed a single crossbow here in Castle Age. And he's dedicated all of his attention for the villager. But this villager might die to the arrow fire from the tower here. I don't know. Yo, Can you hit that? You target it. It's really hard to target it these days. I remember back in the day you could. Yeah, but sometimes oh, there you an, go. an arrow. The skirm did it. Oh, okay. Yikes. Yeah, that's what I said. Once there's a couple of mangonels out, that tower is not a tower anymore. It's simply a temporary household for some villagers, and the tower is gone, the stone is now idled, and the TC is suddenly able to be attacked from the hill, and Lyra is moving towards that hill, and that TC does not long for this world, man. Okay, you know something that bothers me, and it looks like even Yo is making a mistake as well? If you go Meg if, if you're thinking Meg and L defense in these situations with Goomans, too many players forget that they can make their siege workshop yeah. now. Like, he might make his siege workshop right when he hits castle. Yeah, like, he could have had that Siege Workshop already, and he could be making Siege immediately, which could keep himself in this. I think the TC would be gone regardless, but just something to bring up here. I think it's very easy to forget about that. Yeah, it is for sure. I think Mangano's alone, though, when you're already so so outnumbered, it's like, Lyra is just going to continue and go straight for the Siege Workshop, even. Yeah. So I think Yo needs the Knight numbers as his main way of defending this. He needs probably one good Mangano trade initially, at least get rid of one or two Mangano's, maybe some crossbows. Actually, probably targeting the crossbows is better for him. Because, yeah, because um, he is nice. This pressure right now from Lyra is it's so hard to deal with. Also, there is a new repair villager, which was such a good decision here from Leary. We'll see if Yo could get a big shot. Uh, the delete mechanic is gone now, as it should have been a long time ago. <laughs> but when that was around, you could delete and get like additional damage done. Yo is not going to have that now, and Leary just backs away for now, which is probably wise. He's even adding a third TC himself. He always actually sending a counter attack with two knights. If those would found it, find the town center, that would be pretty nice for him. Mm -hmm. But even the village account at this point is only six in favor of Yo, and Lear is about to have a, a extra town center up on him. And I think as the game goes on, Saracen might actually be a better uh, Civ in early Imperial Age here. Yeah, so, I agree. Lear is not on a timer anymore. He has gotten the value he might be seeking, and now it's just about keeping that lead. The knights get two in knights here. The knights get in here. This is the most yo thing I've ever seen in my life, by the way. <laughs> Just like your whole base is dying and you still get damage in from two knights on a counter. And Leary is not going to be happy to see that. It feels like it's completely unnecessary. If you would have had crossbows, you could have dealt with it. Or even just wall, he could have dealt with it. But yeah. now yo is... Oh, he's going to try at home and good shot from yo. And that's what the counter attack does there. It distracts Leary. Gives him more potential to defend himself. Oh, he got another Mangano. Not sure if that Mangano was already injured, because it was an uh, uphill shot, so... Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. But yeah, a little bit annoying in Lyra's base, obviously those knights being a bit... Keeping that gold idle for now. Lyra obviously being Saracens, 
Getting some extra gold from other resources is not difficult, so he's still completely fine. Might even add a fourth down center if he wants to be greedy. Yeah, it feels like Leary uh, just needs to stabilize things a little bit more at home. Just keep his mass going on the front. He doesn't even necessarily need to push a lot more. The damage has been done. We should see Leary with a big vill lead too, but now two more knights get in again, and this is like... This stuff will add up, and it can get really frustrating as a player. The lead is a big mistake yeah. on the front, and then suddenly you're tilted, and you're you're falling behind. Yeah, Leary now also realizing he doesn't want to deal with this. He's adding a monastery. Obviously helpful for defending and also picking up relics for a long term here. Yep. But the uh, knights are cleaned up now. He did make a few crossbows and left him at home, but he always now being a bit more adventurous in front of his base. He's got one mangonel out, a couple of knights. The knights do also do not have plus two armor. So uh, the crossbow mass of Leary is still really big. I like how Yo Ooh. just forced Leary to take out his own outpost. Also, Yo <laughs> wants to drop a castle at some stage. He's gonna drop a TC on the right. Mm -hmm. And that's a nice spot to secure some gold. He is getting chain barding armor, and it's 65 vils a piece. And I've seen enough yo games, Viper, where he he can bring these types of games back. And normally against like someone like yourself or Leary, you no, know, it it normally doesn't happen. But I expected this game to be done and dusted by now. I expected this to be a closed book. But if yo can continue to get counters in, and Leary starts to fall back a little bit, you never know with yo. Yeah, I'm not sure if I like what Leary is doing here now. Like, he, he is going back. He's he's making a stable switch at home. He's actually adding knights. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised he's not just making camels if he wanted to go stable units to begin with. Yeah, but, that is very weird. Yeah. The counterattacks from Yo has definitely given him a lot of value in terms of not only killing some villagers, but also just buying time and forcing uh, forcing Leary's attention elsewhere. And Yo now doing a cast on the front. Where Lyra was pushing from earlier, that's actually going to be annoying. It's going to clean up like eight houses of Lyra <laughs> long term. That's so uh, quite nice. Uh, but yeah, now he's always kind of trapping his own knights. Unless... Oh, Lyra's trying to do some quick balls here. Well... Um, the siege is no longer an issue. The siege has all rolled home, which is not what you want. But yeah, I guess the knights would be cleared. I, I feel like Yo's okay with losing knights to get villagers at this point, though. Yeah, hey, it's not sure. like, like this is this is damage that he would never have dreamt to be able to get after this all started. So he'll definitely still be behind. And I I agree with you what you said earlier that I do think Saracens are actually the better civilization in the long run here, uh, with Arbalest and crazy camels. It's not a lot that humans can really do on paper, but with control of a game, anything can happen. Yo's going to drop tons of TCs at home, and he's going to turn this into a big castle age boom. Yeah, right now it looks like we're going to be heading towards Imperial Age, and uh, Lyra definitely destined to hit that first. The question is, can you all gain enough map control to make sure that the early Imperial Age from Lyra is not going to be a threat? Mm -hmm. That is the big question for you right now. And like you said, he's adding those two extra town centers, so he will maintain the villagers at an equal uh, number. But again, Lyra is... This is a Lyra thing, right? Those 20 crossbows he has there, they've been alive now since Castle Age, and he's just not losing them. And that's going to be such a big help for him when he does decide to go Imperial Age. Yeah. 25 extra Arbalest can be the deciding factor of the game. Well, you think about it as well, though, right? Like, at this point, Leary feels forced to make camels. Look, two kip checks, annoying on the sides. So camels do cost food and gold, so that could delay the imp time. He's also got four TCs. So I'm not sure the imp time will necessarily be that insane. He also might need to make a decision because he doesn't have a lot of gold right now. Do I sell that stone? Do I sell this wood? What am I doing with my excess resources? A good clear up there for Leary on the on the right. Just a lot of reacting. And I again, I mentioned this in game one. This has happened a lot for Leary in Titans League. There were situations where I felt like players could have gotten wins against him in the groups that didn't. Let's see if this reacting ends up being a negative for him in the long run here. But good clear up on the left. That's very nice. Still no ballistics really hurts because the Knights can just run away. Yo still hasn't found any critical amounts of damage as we have 36 kills versus 32 right now. Yeah, Yo is making a full transition now to Kipchak only, so those knights are now throw away for him. And I would agree, Lyra is... If Lyra didn't have such an amazing eco that he has right now, like he has over 40 farmers, mm -hmm. then yep. I think the situation would have been looking really rough for Yo. But considering that Lyra has such a healthy eco, I think he can transition and make whatever he wants at this point, so... Okay. Oh, Lyra's spending every gold he has, actually. Like, Yo might be the one who clicks Imperial Age faster at this point. And also, those crossbows are out of position because of the two knights. And here comes Yo. Now, Lyra, I think, spotted this. 
Oh, he spots the Kip Jackson. He wants his own castle here. Oh, geez. He doesn't know about the castle spot here, Viper. The two knights could always loop back in. And Yo has clawed his way back in this game in what felt an impossible position earlier. The Kipchaks are still a very weak unit in terms of HP, but the micro potential's there. Yo, backing away. Good micro. And it tanks yeah. a big shot there, and he's going to run right over to his castle, I imagine. Lyra did ballistics now as well, so those crossbows will have more value. But Lyra, <laughs> just a little bit of market magic, and he's yeah, up to yeah. They're roughly, roughly the same time, though. Ten seconds apart, and sure, Yo might have the better position here with the castle position, but... Also, if I remember correctly, humans don't get masonry. That, that's, a, that's a next level thing to remember. I honestly, <laughs> I, honest, I think, I think there's only like four or five civs that don't get masonry, right? I think. Could be, yeah. It would make sense because so like they also don't get guard towers. So it kind of fits the, the theme mm -hmm. of lacking certain H, like uh, tanky upgrades, I guess. Yeah, and the, the issue I see for Yo here is that he is making, he's committing on the unit that is produced from the castle. Yep. Yep. So he's kind of like, all his eggs are in one basket. If he loses the hill on the front, suddenly his production is also halved. So, while well, Lyra is making more like, he's building units from stables, Marchy ranges. It's way easier for him to compete trebuchet-wise and also maintain armor production, while Yo will kind of be forced into making a decision at this point. I'm being told that you're wrong, by the way. Kumins do get masonry. Okay. But, but they I don't mean, have architecture. Ah, uh, there you go. No, I'm not quite as impressed. <laughs> that's not <laughs> that's not that exciting of a guess, but okay. But they don't get uh, uh, what's the upgrade? The, uh, hoardings. Ah, Things. hoardings. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. See, I knew there were some weaknesses in their castles. So Yo is continuing to make those kip checks, Viper. I mean, it, it's tough to to know what to make, like you said, right? Because if you go back into stable units, Saracens still get amazing camels. Yeah. Um, those camels are not even close to full strength. It, we we rarely see it. Uh, with zealotry and heavy camel and whatnot, but it does get even stronger. And as you mentioned, Leary's economy economy has been the strongest. He's still got that big crossbow mass, and he's got camels, and he's going to have two castles, and he has access to stone. This this will be a tough situation for Yo still. I think Yo should go full step lancers. Really? That's his that's his only way of winning this game. Yep. Certainly for our entertainment. Not only that, like, to me, right now, I feel like Yo is in a situation where he needs just one snowball fight. Yeah, yeah. And after that, he has a chance of winning. Well, Otherwise, also, he will always struggle against whatever Lyra is going to make. Also, I feel like melee units in general are really good in Treb Wars. I mean, it's tough when yeah. you're up against Arbalest, but at least you can snipe the Trebs. Uh, positive for Yo would be the fact that he did find some more stone. Uh, or he went back to the stone in front of his base, so he's got that. He's also snagging some relics slowly, but I mean, relics are really not going to matter if he loses the middle of his base here. He's getting light cav. Uh, he's getting upgrades that will affect his kip checks, but Arbalest should dominate these kip checks for the time being. They're still such a fragile unit. Only 60 HP. It's pretty pathetic for a unit on a horse. <laughs> yeah, and especially when he wants to probably get elite upgrade as well he just can't afford that if he wants to make a tech switch behind what he's trying to he's doing light cap upgrade mm -hmm. and wants to go into hustar but again there we can just go full camels even if he wants to those camels are even better now than they used to be with uh zealotry is cheaper they have uh 10 extra hp by default it's uh yeah it's, it's looking really tough for Lyra. like yo did a really good job to stay in the game and make it as close as it is yeah but Lyra is still in the very much in the driver's seat yeah, Leary with a massive boom, 145 villagers, my god. And he's not even close to maxed out. Yo is using his, uh, as he gets the step husbandry upgrade, which is a nice upgrade. But Yo is mm -hmm. actually using his trebs to take out the trebs from Leary, and he hasn't had any success yet, and Leary's just gonna dive. Leary says, ah, who cares? I, I want to keep my trebs alive, I want your castle to go down. And Leary should be able to do all this, and should lead to Yo losing those trebuchets, and... I just do not know if Kumans really have the option uh, to be able to bring this back. And also, with Leary even starting raids now with Light Cav. I mean, it's all starting to unravel for Yo. Yeah. Yo's winning condition here was taking control of that hill in the middle mm -hmm. and keeping it. Now that yep. he lost that, suddenly Leary can come. He can drop a castle himself on that hill. The third gold of Yo is suddenly inaccessible for him. And yeah, like what are his tech, tech options from here? He's going Hustar. He's like, that's the easiest unit Saracens can counter. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I don't know. Again, as I mentioned, besides maybe Siege Onager, which you're just not going to see. <laughs> Yo's going to get crop rotation as if this game's going to go on another 20 minutes. <laughs> just in case. Just in case, but yeah. I think Yo needs one big fight, like maybe right now, Viper. I think if you were to be able to clear this hill, take all the trebs, the arbs, and then deny that castle, then maybe he's got a, a win condition here, but it just he seems just like he, he cannot deal with that. Yep. Yeah, there is maxed out as well. Yo, again, is trying to like, he's trying to do this thing where he just holds and counterattacks, but he's just, it's like eight hustar. They're not going to turn this tide and it's mm -hmm. going to lose another castle. So this monastery is exposed as well, albeit there's only one relic there. Going to lose access to his main gold, and he just doesn't have a way to ever engage the army of Lyra right now. Unless Lyra actually leaves with all the light cap, soon to be hustar, but yeah, he's yeah. not doing that. I, I just love how much fight Yo puts into games. It, it's really incredible. Like he could have resigned earlier in Castle Age, and the two night counterattack, all that stuff, such a good fight. But even now, like he sees his pop, he says, "I'm not, I'm not done yet." I mean, I'm still probably dead, but I do produce Hussar's lightning quick after the step husbandry upgrade. Maybe Leary will make a mistake, and he did find some villager kills towards the north. I actually think that benefits Leary because he did have a few too many villagers, so now we'll have more military. He still needs to kill that Arbalest army. Yeah, and Leary is pushing into heavy camels now as well, which is the hard counter to the unit Yo is trying to mess to keep his chances alive there. I mean, to be fair, Yo actually has a population lead. Yeah, he does. So... Also, Leary, I don't know if this is really like super high priority in most cases, especially if you want to upgrade your camels. But he doesn't have a single armor upgrade on those arbs. So I feel like if the hussars get in there, I know you're typically not like thinking armor for versus like hussar or something, but a little surround well, might actually accomplish something if you can get to that hill. Yeah, well, Leary is expecting to be able to prevent the arbalists from being attacked in melee mode, and it's getting a solid raid now on the right side. Yo's population is gonna. Drop a little bit here, the village account is about to be equalized again. Yep. But yeah, Yo, Yo is he's in dire need of one big engagement here to keep his chances alive. His farm he's, count's he's not like, getting any higher here. He's going to have to make yeah. it happen soon. And he has officially zero gold income as well. So he simply cannot make any other units now or any other tech switch. He's stuck with what he's got. All right. Well, this is the moment, especially since Leary's coming forward for another castle. This would be the, the final nail in the coffin, so to speak. The heavy camels have 150 HP. The Kipchak's can help there, but I'm just not sure if the start to this engagement really went as Yo would have wanted. He'll take the treps. He's he's placing a TC because he needs his position. If he doesn't win this fight, this game's over, anyways. And he's he knows he's not gonna fight. win it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Did game a nice there. place. It was a uh, probably not the way you want. You usually see Saracens executed. Mm -hmm. Usually, you, obviously, it was very aggressive by Lyria, but. You don't see that type of economy addition behind it usually. Yeah. Yep. So Lyra just kind of went for the safer. I'm going to take advantage, like take uh, the early advantage with my uptime, take a good position in the game, and then transition to economy. And uh, yeah, it definitely worked out for him here. Yo had a little bit of a rough map. Lyra had a perfect map. But still, it was. Uh, I think both players played very well here. Here we are. And man, uh, we have the Britons for Lyra in the blue. And then we have Berbers for Yo in the red. I'm so excited to talk to you about the Britons because your game against Classic Pro in I think the first round or maybe it was the second round got me so excited to see more Britons. And then I don't know if everyone's <laughs> watching your Rex or if it's just, you know, the, the natural line of thinking when you think about how Britons could play out in a map like this. But I think ever mm -hmm. since then, Britons, 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 Britons. I actually have Britons as... I got to be careful here. I almost said the best civ on this map. <laughs> let's just say let's just say at least top three would you agree with that statement it's always hard to like decide top three sis for example right if if the other side is hindustan is suddenly britons might not look yeah. that good yeah true but like yeah britons are very good here there are some features of this map that easily aligns and makes britons quite good uh, the buffaloes for example being the initial food source with 150 food instead of 100 like sheep normally gives and there being extra buffaloes, it just makes you have a really solid early game economy, no matter what type of approach you go for. Another thing is that civilizations on this map that are popular are like these civs that have a nice economic opening in terms of making a dock. And when you make a dock, you slow yourself down in other ways, but there you are a bit weak against something like a Drush, for example. Yep. And the dream play for Britons, more often than not, 
is a simple drush into fast castle. And if you can do a drush, and that drush has almost guaranteed value against potential fishing ships on the map, because, I mean, there's no way to defend them pretty much, you're like guaranteed value with your drush and guaranteed a very easy fast castle with the extra food income from those buffaloes. So Britons are just an amazing save on this map. Well, as we talk about that, Yo is well aware. I'm wondering, is he going to be tempted to steal one of these elephants? Because they're both there. He is currently taking buffalo from the Briton player. I think Leary has now noticed this. Leary doubling back with his scout. Laming is allowed in this event. And everything that you just said is pretty clear cut for these two. So it's currently, it's uh, I'm trying to do the math, 450 food that is mm -hmm. walking away from Leary. And that definitely hurts the Briton start. Absolutely. If Larry kept going, he would have actually run into two of Buffaloes of Yo. So, uh, but yeah, Yo, Yo obviously expecting Britons here from Larry, mm -hmm. and immediately trying to deny those Buffaloes from Britons, knowing how much of a powerful start it gives them. But Larry is actually going for a dock opening with Britons, so that's just also one of the ways Britons can play, right? A lot of people might express expect a drush, but Britons can also just make a dock and have a solid eco themselves, and yep. just take it from there. This also could have been something. Uh, some type of an adaptation here from Leary to uh, losing that much food. Mm -hmm. He might feel like he needs to take that fish, whereas if he had all of his buffalo, otherwise he wouldn't need to fish as much. Uh, Potentially, yeah, but he already had six, seven mils on, on wood, so he was always planning with the, with the dock, I would say. Mm -hmm. yep. But yeah, obviously, you can always adapt on the spot to things like that. Well, so far, so good for Yo, I'd say. Uh, we haven't talked a lot about mm -hmm. his sieve, though. So you've got the faster villagers... I'd say Berbers really start to shine in Castlage, where you have the cheaper stable units. Uh, we saw Yo almost bring the game back in the previous game with some nice little raids. So another situation where Leary will most likely be with a slower civilization with a lot of archer range, and Yo will be using mobility. Uh, I guess their ships are also faster, Viper. And I'm yeah. not sure if we'll see it, but I'd like to just shout out the Genitor. Because <laughs> I feel like that mounted skirmisher should... Uh, be in Yo's mind, but I think the consensus is that maybe they're a little too expensive, for at least the long term. Maybe there's like a small window in Castlage where you could use a Genitor. Yeah, their fire rate is also quite awkward, so it's like, if you had the option to make skirmishes, Genitors are not really that appealing, at least in my my opinion. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Leary was a bit unfortunate there. He was scouting towards the top, and he just missed the buffaloes of Yo there by one tile, mm -hmm. so a little bit unfortunate. Definitely a better opening for Yo in terms of when it comes to laming, etc. But yeah, like uh, pointed out the ship advantage of Berbers, that could definitely be big or very big in this game because both of them are going to go for fast uptime and I would not be surprised to see if both of them just focusing a lot on the water in the opening. Yeah, Leary did scout that Yo is a dock. And that is not something that Yo has actually seen, but he might find that in a moment because Leary's trying to save his scout. It's important that Leary runs home because he doesn't know that he will actually be faster to feudal age, but a pretty similar starts here. Viper, what do you think? Galley opening or fire galley opening? I think maybe galley into uh, fire galley into galley. In, Bur in Burba's shoes, I would say maybe you can go straight galley because you have way more micro potential. Mm -hmm. But then again, also if you go fire galley, those are also faster. So Yeah, true. Uh, it's not going to be the wrong choice either way, but I think it also depends on the uptime. If you're up faster, maybe you can go galley. If you're up slower, I think you kind of have to go fire galley to be safe. Yo being super annoying right here, 40 seconds away from being up. He got another important hit there against Leary. Uh, I still think this is a fight that huh? Leary can win. His scout swam over the water. Oh, I think I think you can. I, that didn't actually surprise me. I think I could see a little bit of amphibious terrain there. Is it? Yeah. Okay, maybe. Oh, there's a villager it didn't look here. Like should be able to. Yeah, well, certainly a surprise for Leary, I think. I don't think he was expecting it. And yeah. Leary is going to lose his scout. And Yo will lose it as well. All is fair. <laughs> and it is fire galley for both players here. I mean, with the rush distance now, Yo going with the aggressive dock. Uh, fire galley is the only thing that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, we probably don't have time for further conversation on it. I feel like galley definitely gives you the most potential to clear up water. But it just takes so much of your focus with the micro that it ends up leading to you having some type of weakness elsewhere. Like if they ever switch to land, suddenly you're not able to focus as much as like. But wow, I mean, I saw Leary play this map. I saw Yo play this map. I have not seen a game where both players just went full on water with three docks. 
Yeah. And this is a situation where Yo has a villager close enough to the engagement, so he can repair that. And mm -hmm. again, Yo has the way more micro potential here with the fire galleys. Yeah. So I would have to say I definitely prefer to be Burbers in this situation. Also, uh, demo raft about to oh, pop as well, so right where they're fighting. It could be so sick. Oh my god, it could hit the fires and the villager. You're kidding me. Yeah. Oh! Max. There we go. It lands, and also oh. if that other weak one gets picked off, this is an amazing start for Yo. Indeed. And Dang. it does get picked off. And again, like, it's quite nice because Yo has like his fish is safe in the back and he has two forward docks. So mm -hmm. you're kind of forcing the fights to stay on the front while his fish is pretty much untouchable at this point. Liri does have bigger numbers though for the time being. Because Yo was housed for a second there, uh, uh, like housed in a really bad timing actually, mm -hmm. all things considered. Oh my God. Look at the fire gallus. He should <laughs> never have saved that one. <laughs> you're so speedy, man. Still could swing back towards Leary's control here because of having the production. And he's going to be patient with his demo, but I'm sure he was torn here. He really wanted to save his ships, and I guess it swings right back towards Yo. Just taking a quick look at the economies, Leary is out of Water Buffalo right now as the demo landed. So yeah. the Water Buffalo still being there for Yo is a big benefit to him right now. For sure. KD is so far 7-3 to three in favor of Yo, so he has definitely had the better end of the stick so far, and... The more they fight on water, honestly, the more favored that is for Berbers, because they their units scale better as well with the with the movement speed. So the mm -hmm. more you have, the more potential you have to micro. And it looks like, uh, yeah, you always just slowly grabbing a lead here. Yeah, I don't. I know there's a lot to pay attention to, but I wish Leary would have maybe thought about where his fishing ships were going because he has fish down towards the south, and so them traveling here is just going to lead to them being exposed, and he does lose one. And it seems like demo territory for both players. I'm just waiting for it to pop. But Leary yeah. definitely taking the worst of the engagement. He'll lose most of his ships before a demo shows up. Still, it's, he's it's... taking enough of an advantage here that I, don't, I think it's already the point of no return. A nice demo hit as well from, from Yo there, taking damage on the mm -hmm. fire galley and killing the demo of Leary. And Leary has, he's still making fire galleys, but I think he has realized that he's probably going to lose water here long term. So. The transition towards more land economy has to be there for Leary. Uh, but I guess Yo will realize the same thing. And Yo, again, Yo still has three buffalo to eat, so his food income is not hurting at all. Yeah, true. Yeah, I remember game one, we talked a lot about the Saracen Kuman matchup, but what was it, 300 food that Leary stole from Yo in early feudal? Uh, I think he it was. Killed two llama, I think. I think he got two llama killed. Yeah. Yeah, certainly here. A bit more than that for Yo. Maybe realized Leary would have to switch into water or just expected it. You don't see it all the time from Britons. But it happened. And good start for you. I mean, the dreams start for you, really. It's 15 to 6, 16 to 6 KD. His fish are safe. He's already added another batch of fishing ships. He's walling up. Leary won't have any aggression. This is perfect. Yeah, and Yo is already kind of. He has already kind of secured his base while Leary is still wide open. Like, if Yo also prepared, like, a couple of scouts here. Ooh, Leary got a big demo hit, though, so he might actually suddenly snowball the water back in his favor. He didn't stop making units, and Yo might have thought that he stopped making units. Oh, like you said, he's snuck in a cycle of fishing ships there as well. Yep, yep. So if Leary can now get a good trade with his next cycle of units, suddenly Yo's water might not be as safe as he thought. Yeah, also Leary transitioning in that economy a bit. I say a bit because I was expecting him to have farms and I looked back and he doesn't have a single one. But he's taking some deer, he's taking almost all of his berries. Adding an archer range, but Yo does still hold and I think that was an important moment. Just keeping yeah. those fishing ships working, giving himself some time to get back on water. Nice demo there from Leary though. Still feels like it should at least be 50-50 on water. And that's what Yo will want. He doesn't. He, I don't even think he'll be too bothered if the castle age times are the same. He just doesn't want to be behind. He wants to make sure that he has benefit from the fish. Great job from Yo yeah. so far. He's going for massive walls on the left side. Look at this. Full wall to the edge of the map. Yeah. Yo did also build a stable on top side. So he and adding a blacksmith now. So he'll click up as soon as the blacksmith uh, is finished. Yo's economy transition here is also just like... Of course, the buffalo helps a lot. But having those six fishing ships working nonstop. Yep. His food rig is just going to be so much uh, easier and natural of a transition than Leary. Leary now the bears are out. He has what is his food income? It's one fishing ship and he's hunting deer long distance. He's gonna take forever to get to cast stage still. He's idling his TC even. Oh, this is so rough for Leary. Feels like maybe a market could have been helpful. I mean, Yo's micro is so good. Leary just calls it 19 minutes. Yeah. You could tell that as he sat there 150 food away from the next age, 
with no yeah. water control. He just said, yeah, you know what? <laughs> I'm not going to be you able know, to I do mean, anything. It's, it's not like the game is 100% over, but Yo will win this game 99 out of 100 times sure. at this yep. stage. Yep. So yep. It's, it's definitely a fair resign on Lira's end. So this is interesting to me. So we obviously put a lot of thought into the maps. We had 11 total maps. I made mm -hmm. it so you guys could, could ban out quite a few of them as well. Um, and we've seen them all played. And one of my biggest worries was actually Golden Swamp because I didn't want every game to look like this, <laughs> right? And yeah. then we had that, that Britain play we talked about with the early militia. We've seen players opening scouts with no water control. We see all these varied strategies, and the map is actually delivered most of the time. This game, yeah. though, they just decided on the same strat. And sometimes if you decide the exact same thing, when there's so much to fight for and you're investing so much, we're talking three docks, nonstop production. If one player wins, that player has an advantage. And I think that combined with the fact that Yo also had the water buffalo lead there, uh, mm -hmm. this snowballed this to being an early GG. So it can happen. Yeah. So yeah, we, we've definitely seen a lot of different approaches like Drush. We have seen uh, like MBL go scouts into arch forward archers, for example. Yeah. Uh, and we also see yeah, so many different civilization choices as well, because a lot of people have a different vision of how you can play that map. And yeah, like this is one of the few times from what I've seen where you just see full water from both. So, uh, but I agree with you. I've seen a couple of games on this map and they've all been very entertaining. Yeah. So now Leary is one loss away from being knocked out in a round of 12. Uh, mm -hmm. Two big names in our scene. And... Both players failed to get a buy like you did to move directly into the quarterfinals. So I'm, I'm hoping Leary can respond, maybe to take us to a crucial game number five. Um, the final map will be, or sorry, not final. the final map. Yeah, sorry. Spoilers, Spoiler alert. Apparently. <laughs> no, the final <laughs> home map is what I meant to say for Leary will be Serengeti. And I got mm -hmm. so pumped when I saw that because he's had some really good Serengeti games in this event. Game number four, and yeah, Viper, maybe a counter pick from Yo, because Leary did play as Celts on Serengeti in the past, and I mm -hmm. think one of the big things that uh, people don't bring up enough about Yo is that he's also casting a lot of stuff, right? Yeah. So I think Yo most likely saw those sets with Leary and said, ooh, Celts is on his draft out there. Maybe he'll do it again. And so Yo's final Civ pick was Byzantines. Maybe a bit of a counter pick on Arabia. Do you think it's a counter pick for Serengeti, though? Mm, not sure. I mean, considering that Leary has Franks and Mongols, maybe even Yo thought Leary might use Franks here. Ah. But yeah, like you said, if Leary has used Celts uh, multiple locations in the past on Serengeti in this very tournament, then yeah, maybe it was an attempt at a counter pick. But then the question is, is Byzantines a counter pick to Celts? I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I mean, I think on Arabia, where you can wall it up a bit more, possibly. Because the longer the game goes, the closer you could get towards cataphracts. And if you get lots of cataphracts out, uh, you dominate. But then again, if you get lots of cataphracts out, that tells you that you've kind of weathered a lot of storms with Byzantines against any sieve. <laughs> yeah. Like cataphract skirmishers dominates a lot of sieves. So yeah, maybe he just felt like this pick allows him to play a little bit defensive against the Leary Rush. And it's certainly a sieve that you will be comfortable with, I think. For sure, but I honestly feel like when I play Byzantines against Celts, it's one of the more awkward matchups because the main weakness of Byzantines initially is men arms openings. Mm -hmm. And because more often than not, you might want to make skirms and spears if possible, or just go straight into archers. But beating men arms from Celts, especially on a map like this where everything is just so exposed, like it's super hard to fully wall this map. Yeah. And that can be really, really hard to hold. Yo, by the way, is going four on wood. So that does not indicate a really fast uptime. Maybe he wants to drush himself. Interesting. I mean, logic that you can use if you're worried against uh, about a man at arm rush is just to try and hit them before they get that. Uh, I've mm -hmm. never really loved that when up against Celts because I feel as though they just quick wall in their villagers and then suddenly you've got no defense and a very late feudal time <laughs> against three speedy man at arms. But yeah. I think the, the other interesting trend that has been happening with Byzantines, because Yo has actually picked Byzantines, and I think the Resurgence, um, I don't know if he was relying on them too much in RMS Cup as he just won that event, but uh, wow, Leary going for Barracks here as well, but like, players are picking Byzantines more and more Viper. I think getting free Town Patrol and Castle Age gives them a huge defensive edge, and 
while they lack no while they lack eco bonuses they seem quite strong to counter any civilization in the mid game so it's an open map you expect that aggression is going to win out but we'll see yeah yo by the way he's been pushing the zebra and the the ostrich so he hasn't found four of his sheep at the moment and oh, all whoa. four of them are forward or Lyra conveniently running just around those on the right <laughs> side so lira has been really unlucky with with the scouting on the True. buffaloes and sheep so far uh he might circle back no, no he's going oh, he's just patrolling the hill i guess he wants to group up with his militia and go forward but yeah though, missing four sheep is actually quite massive here and it's a risk you take if you go and push deer right off the start so but yeah like on byzantines for me byzantines has always and will always be a sieve i never want to play against because no matter what civ you are, they have tools that can win games against you. Mm -hmm. Sure, they maybe they just don't have the best economy in the game, but they have that fast imp potential. They have great monk tech. They have arbalest. They have cataract. They have cheap camels. Everything is just cheap and good with them. So it's a civ every civ hates to play against. Well, Leary will find those goats. And to be fair, I think Yo is. We're gonna see this scout war here. Who wins? Quick, who wins? Uh, Leary. Oh, nice call. Did you actually know, or was it a 50-50? Uh, I selected both their scouts, and I could see the red HP go down slightly, slightly faster. faster. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's disastrous for Yo. I mean, he does. He did prep the walls, which is uh, no scouting 101, so that's good. <laughs> so yeah, he's... Lyra... Oh, God. Speaking of Lyra. no scouting, rip. Yeah. Lyra does find the other two goats of Yo as well, though, and Yo is going for a forward lumber camp now. I mean, there is militia on the other side, and they're wounded now, so they're not really a threat yeah, anymore. Yeah, true. But still, missing the scout, missing those four goats, those are things that can easily snowball. What we just saw in the previous game, I mean, it was a big talking point. Obviously, we saw only water play there, so it was a bit different. But uh, yeah, to be fair to Yo, he was one tile off from seeing his goats on the left side. I think with how much scouting he had, he probably just assumed that Leary had already stolen them. Yeah. And decided to you stay could also at home. See yeah, he could also see the score that Leary had higher score, which indicated that Leary has been scouting more. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a fair assumption to make. Well, looks like Archer opening then for Yo, uh, expecting the possibility of more militia. And while he can't see it, he certainly senses it. Leary slightly housed here will delay his third militia, though. I don't like that. But Man at Arms will be coming. It's probably a good choice here from Leary, but Yo is going to have the range up pretty quickly. Yeah, archers will always account that, but if you follow up the militia, or even adding two militia more, so it's going to be four men arms. If you follow that up with like a really fast skirmisher, mm -hmm. or even archers follow up, suddenly it's way harder to hold compared to just if it was just these two militia. I think it's so nice that Leary's scout is weak, though, right? Like, if that's a full HP scout, obviously then Yo would have a full HP scout, so I, I guess, yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess, you know, it's kind of a dumb thing to say, but. But still, I, I I feel like when you're playing into skirmishers, that full HP scout can sometimes force you into archers sooner than you would like. But probably one or two archers here for Yo. It's always a tough balance because you don't want to add too many and play directly into skirms. But I'm going to take a zebra on the left. He's going for a very fast blacksmith here as well. And again, free town watch with Byzantines. If you look at Yo's point of view, he could pretty much see everything. So much so that he's actually deleted all of his small walls here, which is a risky game to play. Yeah. He has an archer as well next to his golden wood, and that's where Lyria wants to, to apply the pressure here. Mm -hmm. I mean, arms upgrade is in, so he's going to start moving as soon as they have grouped up. Uh, it's only one archer, though, and it's quite far to the north now. Even that archers could, archer could be exposed because oh, man. Man arms are faster. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, I would have pre-walled this stuff, but then again, you know, I have a lot more fear when playing against the rush like this. But Yo gets Five the walls down. Five men at arms, dang. He's gonna try and block the archer now. Nicely done by Leary here. He probably will get the kill as well. Oh, that's Take sick. Take some arrows from the town center, but still, that's definitely worth it. And behind it, we have skirmisher follow-up from Leary. He also did a blacksmith, so he can actually just like the, the berries as well from yo if he can put the pressure there considering that yo has been missing so many food resources already mm -hmm. there he can deny the berries that can be massive it's so hard to macro effectively when you're going to be under this much pressure there's just so many things that could go wrong if you're in yo's position but the timing and uh, on fletching also interesting he got horse collar before bid axe that's something you don't see every day the timing has certainly allowed Yo to hold on for now, still as his berries, has weakened quite a few of the men-at-arms. 
Now he sees the skirms though, and I think the only thing you can realistically do right now with the resources you have is just make your own skirmishers and hope you can out Micro Leary. He needs to run his wood villagers. Like he has uh, one army camp and one mill on the front, mm -hmm. and this is uh, he cannot defend this anymore once the skirmishers are there. He can do some nice quick gates and whatnot, but those men also break that in no time. And yeah, the micro has to be on point here for Yo to survive this. This could take us to a game five again. There's a big jump in prize pool if you advance out of this. But this is the round of 12. We have the quarterfinals tomorrow. Then we have the semis. We have the final. Both of these players actually will not need a ticket to Red Bull Wallalo. They already have it because they're previous winners. But that is on the line here as well. Uh, for the best performing player in the first season. So far, I don't want to say so good for Yo, but he hasn't taken any big losses yet. Yeah, he hasn't lost any villages, but there's definitely some idle timer. And of course, again, he got lamed for four goats. I mean, lame. He, he's missing those four goats, which is 400 food, and then also a couple of hundred food now on the fruit bushes. Mm -hmm. Yep. So it's... Uh, he has done a good job getting farms up, and by the way, I think that's why he went horse color as well, because he was expecting something like this could happen. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he's going to lose his mill now. There's a village repair in there, but they obviously with this micro, it's going to be as annoying as it gets. Yo hasn't and, produced uh, a ranged unit out of his archery range in 40 seconds. Yeah. This is this is quite bad. I'm keeping an eye on, on it in capture age. Leary always had a unit in queue. Plus, Leary was taking the better engagements. It's 7 to 2 KD right now. We had a 19-minute game 3. It feels like we could have a 19 minute game four if this continues leary's all over yo as yo scrambles up the second range but again he's not producing well now he is out of that second range he's just really struggling to keep up with things perfect play from leary yeah uh what the what's the overtime in the game right now uh, i'm 1620 are we off okay no no uh, just because you said he wasn't producing from the second range so i was a bit confused but oh I, yeah, yeah yeah my bad i i words are hard for me so i'm, I'm getting there <laughs> <laughs> uh i'm at 16 40. Yep, same. Same, we're good. Okay, cool. cool. Yep, no worries there. Uh, the, Leary is even doing armor upgrade for his men at arms at this point. I mean, like, Yo cannot make archers anymore because Leary has so many skirms. So the only thing Yo can make now is, uh, is skirms. And, and they already do one damage. Yeah, so it doesn't really have that much of an impact. <laughs> but I guess it will help if he's fighting villagers. Yeah. But, uh, it seems a bit unnecessary at this point. Actually, he canceled it. He canceled it. He realizes there's no point doing it. And he's going to go for faster cast station time uh, instead. And he, I mean, he's, he's now on top of the villagers. Could have gone for attack, he would have killed a villager already, but it doesn't really matter, right? Like, he's got so much control. He maybe snipe yeah. that vill and does get it. And that this just shows you how much you can gain from not killing villagers at a high level. He's killed one yeah. villager, we just saw it, but he's got such a massive lead and he's about to flick up to Castle Age. This is sick from Leary. Indeed, and there's Castle on the way, dropping two stables immediately as well. He could even start making scouts in Feudal Age just to, like, Further cement is a dominating lead in this game. Yo now dropping a mining camp in the back. He, need, he realizes the only way to hold now is to start getting towers because he's not going to catch him. It, like, Liri has only had one range as well the whole game. It's so sick. And he still yeah. has so many skirms compared to Yo, who has cheaper skirmishers, even. You know what I really wish we had stats for in Capture Age? Because we have Idle TC, we have Worker Efficiency. I really would like to see. Uh, Archer range or like stable production time or idle time. And I know there's a lot of situations like right now we're not going to see any more skirms for Leary, so that stat would be pretty unimportant. But I felt like for four or five minutes there, that's a big talking point, right? And Leary's yeah. able to get away with one range, keeps it producing almost all the time. And then Yo had to invest 175 wood into a second range because he didn't have that earlier production, which sets him even further behind. And that's just. I actually think that'd be so nice to try and learn where did I go wrong in a game or j just to compare an Archer or Stable Wars. So maybe someday. Mm -hmm. I'm sure Capture Age could make that happen. Be a really cool stat to have. It's a nice micro now from both players. The skirmishes are just dancing. Again, for, for Yo, this is a big fight. For Lyra, it's like, oh, I'm just going to trade whatever units I get here. Yeah, exactly. I'm just like, going to kill him in Castle Age anyway. He's, he's going to go Knights. So it doesn't really matter at the end of the yeah. day, but... You know, it keeps Yo busy, makes it so Yo can never counterattack. If, if anything, has... Lyra should just run and keep those units alive, because they can still be annoying. Like, maybe snipe monks later. Yeah, something, true. Something. True. Spearmen. Yo is king of Spearmen now, trying to use the market to get the castle. But this is so desperate. He just used a lot of the market. Like, he has sold every resource he has now. He sold his soul. Yeah. And he can click to the castle. 
Well, I will say this. Now, I don't think it's going to happen here, but Leary did have a game where he did pretty much the same thing against Capwatch. It was Celts versus Mayans, and he had mm -hmm. plus two knights and like three or four mangonels. He was all over Capwatch, and Capwatch eventually brought it back, but the situation was not near as bad <laughs> for Capwatch at this time, and I mean, you do yeah. have Byzantine, so you could go double barracks maybe, or one barracks into Spearman, potentially make some camels. The potential's there. But mm -hmm. this is yeah. where Leary should be able to kill a few few more villagers and snowball his, his potential. Yeah, Yo will probably force to drop another two towers at home here on this gold to secure that. Uh, he is going for stable, so Camels is his unit of choice. But it's still a minute and a half until he can even start producing. Yo, yeah, Leary already has five knights out. Mm -hmm. On a positive note for Yo, he has had less idle TC time compared... Oh, he has a hole. Yeah, he has had less idle TC time, so he actually has a... Okay, village lead, mm -hmm. and he has only lost one village himself. And Lyra has had a two minute uh, idle TC time, so if Yo can stabilize here, and that's a big if, maybe it's not over. I mean, it does feel like Leary doesn't know where he can do damage right now, and he is going to go for a siege workshop. Yo is going to add a second stable. I actually would have liked it if Yo, if Leary would have taken out that stable there from Yo, so Yo would have one less stable to produce camels out of, but Leary. Still looking for damage. Yo, now 10 seconds away. He does have six spearmen. And remember, Celts don't get bloodlines. So there's two weak knights in there already. Lacking that HP will definitely make you want to shy away from some fights. But, like, this is still a good time for Leary to fight. Especially since he knows it could be pikemen or camels could come out. He should be trying to take the fight. So here he goes. Spearmen getting some nice damage in. But still the knights are standing. The tower fire is helping a little bit. The TC fire is helping a little bit. It was lost another villager. Now the camels are on the way. Yo, he's barely alive here, Viper, but he's going to force Leary back. Yeah, he only lost one villager there. And, uh, of course, he lost a couple of units, and there's a lot of idle time here. But that was a really good move by Leary as well, the way he pulled back the low HP knights and mm -hmm. made sure you... He only lost one knight in this whole engagement as well. And Yo lost, what, six spearmen, one villager, a lot of idle time. So that was a really good trade for Leary still. But villager count is the same. Yo is making counter units now. Yo is building up a better composition on paper if he can get the numbers out. But can he hold while the Ram is now coming in to take out the stable? It feels like Yo never dies. I mean, I know he still <laughs> could die. But Ooh. it's another example as we see a castle there for Yo of Yo still hanging on. Yeah, Lyra is still full 1 TC, right? Mm -hmm. so Lyra is not like pulling massively ahead economically behind all of this. This castle goes up, stabilizes the situation. It's a 1,000 score difference, but like if you look at the numbers, this doesn't feel like it's 1,000. I know uh, score it's difference. it's weird. It feels like it should just be like 600 score, and we go off of score for so many different things in game. You know, we just use that score to build our confidence. At least I do, or read the situation at times. Yeah, but I don't know. Like the the worry for me right now for Leary is that he has only killed two vills, and we now have a second TC for Yo. And I do like Byzantines more than Celts. If the game goes on, mm -hmm. so Yo is just I mean, just delaying for now. He could maybe do this. On paper, Celts have no counter whatsoever to the cataract. Mm -hmm. There's not a single unit you can make unless you have like 40 scorpions and siege hunters, or like not. monks. But your monks are yeah. crappy, so good luck with that. <laughs> yeah, and we see a similar scenario now as we had the the Cumans game where Yo now okay, he feels like he has stabilized, so he's just gonna go for the counter attack. He has monks at home and he's sending the camels. I mean, albeit camels are not the most dangerous counter unit or yeah, true. raiding unit, but but still, it's the same concept. You're going to try and bother your opponent at home, make it messy for him at home while just defending with the bare minimum. Yeah, he also, remember, I think a lot of the score is because he didn't have any scouting. Mm -hmm, so he just sure. now arrives to the main TC from Leary and he's clearly distracted. And Leary, with the correct move, Leary will dive because he says, Oh, your camels aren't at home? Perfect. I'm going to attack you. The knights are all over the skirmishers there. Some of the monks were able to get conversions, and the rest are inside the TC. But I just don't feel like those camels are doing enough right now for Yo. And Leary's oh, diving in so deep many here. Now. Yeah, suddenly the villager, villagers are dying left and right. He's lost 11 villagers in total now. If those camels were at home, Leary could never have done this. Mm -hmm. So you could argue that maybe it was a mistake on, uh, on Yo's end. He kills one villager himself, but he's just losing his monastery now. Sure, he still has two monks alive. But Yo got a lot of uh, uh, Hera uh, Leary. Hera Leary, Yo, nearly everyone. <laughs> everyone got good value from the fight. Uh, I mean, I think I think what we saw Yo do in that Kumin Saracens game showed you what he was trying to do there. Uh, but not mm -hmm. having that scouting intel really hurt him.
And it was a great move from Leary. The second he saw the camels were at his base, he knew that he could take a fight there. Yep. Also love the Sanctity Edition here, so his monks will have a bit more HP. The camels Leary are going to loop home those... for yo. Okay, Leary is not going too far enough left. He would, could have found eight villagers there from yo, but yeah. There are four monks as well, so yo can't even engage the uh, the knights here of Leary. And the squad lead is just going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it the is. Numbers, I mean, but this time at least the numbers have also grown. Yeah, I mean, again, I think what you're hoping for right now, if you are Yo, is you're hoping your units are cheap enough and that your Civ is strong enough in the long term where you can do something here. Leary's had great unit control. He's got the Skirms over on the left, Viper. He sees the woodline now. He's just been mm -hmm. looking for the Vils, but he is also kind of separated from his group. Uh, does get a conversion there. Don't know. I guess Yo's going to need every conversion he can get here and then hope that Leary doesn't get a few conversions to be able yeah, to. He has take a Mangonel there as well. The Mangonel will be targeting those monks, and the monks don't. They do survive one hit from the Mangonel, I believe. So. Yeah, it, after Sanctity, they do. So that's why that upgrade's yeah. so important here. Leary dies for converted. the Mangonel. He gets it as well. So essentially, he lost one knight. He killed the Mangonel, killed the monk, but he yep. did lose two uh, knights to the conversion, but still. There's no way Yo can ever engage this at this point. Should Leary be making a tech switch? He's still making knights. So far, the knights have accomplished something. Also, his three relics, three TCs, his eco is amazing. But he's still making knights. Should he be making the switch here, Viper? I think going maybe a pikeman switch? He already has. I mean, no, he didn't do the upgrades. But yeah, like he has forging. So maybe just dropping like three, four barracks. Mm -hmm. maybe start making ramps and try to push push the town center. So yeah. Yo is going look, look oh, Yo's going for a castle. Oh god. I love it. But but he's recognizing he's behind here, right? He has to try something. Yeah. Pikeman's yeah. not in yet for Leary. But he does still have the monks, so these conversions are gonna help so much. He converts a camel there. He will win this fight. Yo is fighting under the TC fire though, and camels is so fragile to the arrow fire. Oh man. He doesn't even have the military to defend this castle anymore. He could wall it in. There's no siege here, so if he walls in his vills, in theory, he could actually complete it. Here we could do some cheeky monk tricks there, and he could cut the three there. Three there. Oh, oh there's a hole anyway. Not needed. Oh, and there's yeah. a tower. I think that should. There's the cheeky monk trick. I think that should yeah. send us to a game five. Leary yeah, responds. It it's been a back and forth series. And as you pointed out, for the decider game, which will be uh, Jungle Swamp, Leary might have the best sip for that map. Potentially, yeah, things to talk about, certainly. Um, well, again, as a reminder for everyone who's been watching this series, you might not have expected these two to face up in a round of 12, but the round of 12s feature a uh, second place player from a group versus third place player from another group. Yo was third place in group, I shouldn't even try and do the group names. I think B, Leary was second place in group C, and that's why they're up against each other. Uh, the winner of the next game will actually face the Viper in the quarterfinal tomorrow. And I'm sure after watching both of these two play, Viper's just quaking in his boots right now. He, he can barely cast, right? You're just shivering with fear, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's what fear sounds like, ladies and gents. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we are. Game five. I should have memorized this before the cast today, but I think it's like a $250 or $300 jump if you were to lose in the quarterfinals. Obviously, the potential to then win in the quarterfinal, which I think both players could do. No offense, Viper. Um, and then semifinal, and then the final as well, uh, could lead to a lot more prize pool, prestige, etc. Have you seen this yet, Viper? What Yo's about to do? Yeah. He's actually going for the water. Hmm. Hmm, big hmm. Think out loud. Think out loud for me, because I can tell so, your brain's uh, trying to process this. Yeah, so you're always going for, like, he's trying... The meta on this map is to ignore the water completely. Because the water is so exposed, units can run out there. Uh, let's say Yo does get fishing ships out there, but very likely Mongols will be up to feudalage at least a minute before you. Mm -hmm. So you can't really defend that fish. So it's like short-term gain, potentially long-term gain. Mm -hmm. But it could also just backfire completely because you might not get the value you invest into that. But yeah, I'm definitely happy that he's doing this because this should make this game very interesting now as we haven't really seen this approach before. At least I haven't seen it. Yeah, also it's probably a little better for you to have that hmm moment right now as opposed to like <laughs> if it were to happen tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> right? Well, I mean, 
for in my mind, the reason I haven't done it is because I don't think it should work. Sure. So now yeah. I'm really curious to see if it works, right? So it's. Uh, well, he did do it before, so it could be success bias in his mind. Um, okay. He did it with Persians and Lithuanians, and he did it against Barls and. Maybe he only did it once, and I think it was actually with Persians he did it. Uh, but anyways, it looked really strong. Actually, no, he did it with Lithuanians against a Dragon Star, if I recall. Okay. Um, did you see where he placed the dock initially? Uh, I did not. No, was it near the relic or something? He placed it near the relic on Lyra's side. It was on the top side. Oh. That was super odd. Okay. Yeah, so he then he switch thought, it, though. thought about that one. Yeah. But yeah, but I mean, Lyra, it's unlikely that Lyra will... Maybe Lyra will... Exp expect this because Lithuanians right and he knows there's fish in the middle maybe he has seen Yo do it before so maybe he thinks about it but I think a lot of players would just simply think nah Lithuania is still a good save on this map yeah but thinking that water is still way too risky well I'll tell so you what he did Lira doesn't scout it mm -hmm. I'll tell you what he did so he played into uh now obviously it's been a few weeks but you're right his opponent didn't really scout it uh at least right away and he mm -hmm. just played into walls. So if you look at his wood line, he'd like wall down towards the south, then wall towards the front, wall towards the berries on the left. And so once he's secured, then at that point he defends his fish with spears, adds his own scouts, and then suddenly the opponent's playing fully open towards all that hunt that's exposed. Yeah. And if they don't gain an advantage early, then they could have some problems. But I would guess, again, not trying to offend the amazing players in our scene. I don't think, like if you didn't know about this, I doubt Leary knew that yo did this in the earlier yeah. rounds i could be wrong though yeah but i mean obviously we i'm sure he has i obviously thought about this and like is the water worth it yeah at any point? yeah of course so i'm sure Leary has had that process as well yeah but yeah it looks to me like most people have come to the same conclusion that it's not worth it and then yeah. we have yo who wants to try it so but the issue i see here is that sure maybe if you play it into walls and whatnot after as a follow-up it's like Mongols will have all the initiative in the game, full control. He can hunt every single deer on the map and not worry about it for a long, long time. At that point, you suddenly might even see Mongols like greedily go castlage even before you're ready to like properly move out and compete on the map. Yeah, so, uh, um, again, I'm a little surprised we hadn't seen a Mongols ban, right? If Mongols are mm -hmm. seen as the best civilization for this map and you have three global bans, yeah. I, I'm a little shocked by that because I think we had Japanese well, banned. Like, why would Yo ban yeah. Japanese? It's not like that's top tier in any of these maps. Uh, Serengeti. Maybe Serengeti. Serengeti very that's good true. there. Yeah. But I, I think it's also like Yo. I'm not sure exactly the ban order. I didn't watch it live, obviously. But like, once you reach that point where you're like, okay, should I ban Mongols? And it's like, well, if I ban Mongols, Burgundians are open. So mm -hmm. do I want to do that? And then you might end up with, okay, I'm just going to leave both open just yeah. so I can at least have one of them. So there, there's a chance we have one of those situations uh, arise. Now, this will be fun, Viper, because look at Leary's point of view. Leary is doing what you have done and so many others have done. Fast yeah. feudal, and they just push in all their deer, take advantage of the fast hunt for as long as possible. So as of now, Leary has no clue where his opponent is, and he also doesn't have any clue what his opponent's strategy is. It will be later to the next stage. But as of now, he has seven more... Well, that's going to even out a little bit, but let's just say four more eco units because he has fishing ships working. And for now, no walls, but he is going to do for a little bit of walling, as I say that, down towards the south. Could just open with Spearman here and play into Spearman defense. Yeah, and we have to see now if Leary... Yeah, Leary does go and check the water. He does see the fish ships now. So that's a little bit of a, like, a... Oh, did he notice kind it? Kind of like, oh, now, shit. Okay, yeah, there, yeah. <laughs> Leary probably now is like, oh. Like, right? what? So he's like... Is this good? Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> He's yeah. like, is this even good? He's like, I haven't seen this yet. <laughs> And it's like, they still have a safe spot in the center here, the fishing ship. So the, yeah. the scouts, if anything, the scouts are forced to stay on the dock nonstop to mm -hmm. deny this. And then Yo could even sneak out a demo, potentially. And by the time Leary has like three scouts there, potentially picking up fish, there's going to be spearmen on the field. So Oh, Yo loses looking, another one. Yeah, not looking too bad for Yo here. Yeah, and, and like I said, he's going to be safe. I think the issue is... If Leary goes for a fast castle age, um, or if he were to switch into archers really early, it could potentially be a problem. But I don't know. Like, the walls for Yo are secure on the left. I'm not seeing any holes. He's got a spearman defending against a spearman on his fish in the middle. He's got a spearman at home. Also, early market from Leary. 
which tells me he might the... sell stone or something crazy. Yeah. I mean, look at his food already, right? He's already 300 food. He has made a four. He has four scouts in the yeah. field, spearmen. So this could definitely be a greedy follow-up to Gas Legend. Like Yo will has he lost his scout. He has to make units blindly no matter what. There. He also made a fire gallon now, which will keep his fish safe for the time being. Sure. And but yeah, Leary already banking up that food. Sold the stone, and he's gonna go all out aggression here by the looks of it. And we'll see what the spearman can really accomplish. Now Yo will transition into farms, but there's a big difference, right? Because he doesn't have all that hunt. And I actually love how Leary has adapted here. I love how he's taken his foot off the gas, and he now says, screw it. If you're going to play defensive, I will just try and get to knights as fast as possible. Maybe, if we're lucky, we'll see those Mongol Cav Archers, but might be just like the previous game. Lots of knights, and then some early siege. Yeah. I mean, Mongol Cav Archers at this point is like, look at Lyra's village account, though. He has 24 villagers. Sure, it's going to have an amazing castle age time, but what type of resources is it going to have to work with, right? Yeah. It's still just... 24, 25 villagers is going to have. And that's not a great economy. Mm -mm. You can't do too much with that. You can make like one stable units, maybe one seed workshop and make things happen. So I'm not sure even what, like honestly, maybe the best approach is even just add town centers. Just boom. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Because um, Yo is fully walled. Yo can make, if, if Lyra can only make stable units, Yo can just make full pikemen. And Lithuanian pikemen are faster moving, right? So they're pretty good in defense. And Obviously, it's a massive castage time advantage, and Yo will be uh, worried when he sees Lear hit castage. I know, right? It's going to be 15 minutes, so. Yeah, I did see situations where uh, players were punished by the faster Mongol uptime, but the damage had to be done right away. Uh, there was a mm -hmm. forward villager immediately making seed. The knights were already there. There was also no potential for the other player to get any counter damage in, and I, I'm really impressed with what Lear is doing. He is walling on the right. He's also brought his spearmen home, but it feels like someone like Yo is going to be able to pick off a few vills. And like you said, if you have no fish and you've got 25 villagers only, losing a couple villagers could devastate your economy right now. Nice move by Leo we here, picking off one of the fishing ships. With He did lose a scout, but those scouts aren't too valuable anymore, so that's a nice move. But yeah, this is annoying now for Leo at home. There's a couple of spearmen there, there's scouts. He will definitely lose a villager or two here uh, as soon as he clears that spearman. Oh, man. So nasty. Yeah, he's, he's gonna drop he's down so low with eco now. Yeah, he's already got such a low village account. And sure, he's, ca he's gonna be castled. He has a healthy amount of resources, but he sold his stone, so town centers is not an option. Mm -hmm. Going step lancer as the opening unit. <laughs> Gotta have that range to snipe the fishing ships, right? Yeah, I, honestly, honestly, maybe that's it. Look at Yo's economy yeah. now. Yo's got farming eco, he's got his berries, he still mm -hmm. has deer as well. Uh, he's under at no risks, and there you have it. He actually bought the stone back here, Leary, and so he's mm -hmm. going to go for TCs. And I actually think Yo is going to be letting out a sigh of relief upon yes. seeing that. Loppy by Leary, losing both scouts now to the spearmen in the center of the map, and another the step lancer is dying to the other spearmen as well. Oof, they have not gotten the value he had seeked in the early cast mm -hmm. stage here. Also, you know, he could in theory micro here, but yeah, he's going to lose another oh. step. I don't know, Viper. Like, I, I, officially, Leary's at a point where he could pretty much only boom. He can micro three yeah. Step Lancers, and he can only boom. And I just don't know if Step Lancers are really going to be enough. It's going to give Yo such a healthy economy lead. Now, Yo will be much later to Cast Lage, so I'm curious to see what the eco count will look like. Uh, could easily be a situation where if Leary kills a couple of villagers, and then he's been on two TCs that he has the lead. But Leary cannot produce bills, though. He doesn't have the food eco, right? Yeah. He's struggling. The second tease is idle. This is the issue. Like, you go for that super greedy fast castle and, like, <gasps> hoping to get some crazy value. Yeah, demo sacrifice for one step answer. Still fine for you. I mean, this fish, despite everything, this fish is just also buying so much attention, right? There's mm -hmm. no pressure on his base. His eco is untouched at home. And he has, like, made minimal investment to defend his fish. He did lose the fire now, so Lyra is actually getting value now with these lancers. But Yo is on the way to Castledge. He's probably still going to have a villager lead upon reaching Castledge, but he also has a way healthier transition trans in his economy here, and probably going to be able to make way more units as well upon hitting Castledge. So yep, he's going to make suddenly, knights. Yeah, and Lyra won't be able to freely hunt deer like he's doing right now anymore as soon as Yo is Castledge. Now, if there's a hole here and these step lancers kill like five to six villagers, it changes a lot. Yeah. That would really affect the game. There is a hole for Yo down towards the south, I believe. 
I'm trying to double click the trees. I think he would probably notice that. Yeah, there is a hole there for sure. I like how Yo has just sat his fishing ships there and he's yeah. not collecting any fish. <laughs> so, so he's just like, I'll save them for later. That's the thing. He doesn't have to look for holes even because he sees he has seen Leary's army the whole game because yeah. all the attention has only been on the fishing ships. Is this making you think twice about the whole water aspect or are you going to have a difference of approach if you're in Leary's position? Like, let's just say Yo wins this game. I'm assuming a lot. Yeah. And he does the exact same thing against you tomorrow with Lithuanians versus Mongols. You probably don't want to tell us, <laughs> but yeah. I'm curious. Is it better? Is it more successful than you thought it would be? Let's just ask that. Uh, more than I thought, yes. But I also, I, I would have to think about it as well. Right? Okay, sure. I, I can't say on the spot here what I think is the, the choice right now. But, uh, but yeah, I think definitely Yo has gotten a good position out of this. Now, Leary has a village lead now. So True. Yep. It's still a very, very close game. It feels like it has been a bit smoother for Yo. The transition here. Mm -hmm. Definitely. But it's still a very, very close game. And also, we'll have full map control. There's zero scouts out and about for Leary. And you're going to want to have scout control over the relics. Uh, he does have a monk already, though, which I really like. And I'm also a big fan of how he was still taking hunt in various areas of the map. That has really helped him mm -hmm. ease into the farming eco, which you'll need at this stage. Also, mixing in a camel or so. I mean... One conversion, one or two kills with camels, and Leary's going to be feeling okay. Very even game. It, it looked rough for Leary, but I think the transition into the second TC was the right play from him. Very well done. Yeah. Yo, uh, losing knights here now in the middle of the map, kind of for free, unnecessarily. Mm -hmm. He killed two step lancers, but that's a very good trade for Leary because those lances aren't that useful anymore. And he forgot to switch over to the camel there, and then Leary also knew there was a weak scout there. Very well played from Leary to keep track. And Yo, oh, going for his third TC on his gold. He's now fishing again with those fishing ships. 47 eco for both. Yo's about to get the relic. And Scout will end up going down there for Yo. So Leary able to defend his monks. But I think it's going to be a conversation of who's going to have middle map control because there's, there's like two more relics right around that pond. That's going to be the key here. I think Leary now should desperately try to get a third TC up on a stone. Because he's still only on two town centers. And the longer the game goes now without him adding a third town center, the better, the more of a lead Yo is going to build. He already has uh, caught up in the village account again. He's now raiding uh, Leary's villager hunter on the right side. And he has three TC. And Leary is doing a third TC that is... There is logic Ooh, behind it. God. But oh. you can argue that maybe... It should have been placed on a stone or a uh, little bit of a different spot. Sorry to everyone listening. That was a very weird noise I just <laughs> made. But, like, what is that town center? And now Yo goes in. The units repath a little bit. But he's going to kill some monks here. He's going to get two. And I think he'll be very happy mm -hmm. to get two there. Yeah. Also killed one villagers scout. with the knight on the right again. Yeah. One scout got converted, though. But, yeah, Yo's now built up already a village lead. And... He has better... No, he actually doesn't have better eco upgrades. My bad. But 3, three TC for both players now. The thing is now this TC... I, I understand the logic behind it. Just to cure that area, kind of. The farming on the middle and such. But now the stone there is exposed. Sure, he yeah. has the monks in the area for now. But, like, there's five knights coming in later. Those villagers have nowhere to run. Mm -hmm. I mean, they can run, obviously. But they might die on the, on the journey home. I love Yo's fourth town center now. Because I think he feels comfortable. He's not desperate mm -hmm. for relics. He's already had two... He's got a TC protecting himself. That TC on that left side, while he does end up losing his monk, well played from Leary. That will take him further and further into the late game. Also, the knights are not trading poorly against the camels now that there's all this attack. So he's got yeah. plus three attack because of the plus one attack upgrade and then also the extra attack from the relics. And, ooh, wow. Uh, and again, unfortunate, as Leary's actually going to get away with the relics. <laughs> Uh, Yo kills the scout and he's like, where did that monk go? I don't yeah. see it anywhere. <laughs> That's funny stuff. And that, uh, that means we have, what, two relics for each at the moment, once that relic is brought in. There's only one more relic up for grabs, and uh, Leary sees that relic. Yo does not see the relic. Mm -hmm. So Leary, I mean, the monk is going on dangerous waters here, trying to convert a demo raft in the middle of the map. <laughs> that could actually be a tell for Yo, though, that there might be a relic in that direction. That's true. But I think he's, he's heading over to the darkness anyways. Mm. And, oh, the demo. demo should kill it. Yeah, gets it. Wow, well played. And Yo now will find the relic himself. So it will be three relics for Yo. 
which is kind of like the bare minimum. But now the scouts are in on the stone on the left side. If only there was a town center there. Right? I mean, there's a wood line, there's stone. I can't help but feel like in the moment he placed that TC earlier, that he didn't feel like he was going to have a good fight. Like, he felt like there was going to be a, an army that was going to come in and kill those villagers. That's the only explanation for me. Uh, Leary re-walls and... it, but now he walls out his camels, which tells me that he knows that he will not win that fight against the knights with yeah. that amount of upgrades. This is a villager as well. I mean, this game is as close as, as it gets at this point. I, th I like Leary. Leary, despite all, he got a really healthy food eco setup yeah. behind the two TCs, so... He is in a very healthy situation right now, economically. Really missing out on upgrades, Viper. Not a single upgrade on any of his units. Not bloodlines, not armor, not attack. Ooh, uh, he carried on the conversion from the scout and just switched it instantly to the knight and got the insta conversion there. Nicely done. So Step Lancers could get some damage in. A lot faster than you might think. They loop right into the wood line. Yo does seem to react to this, though, so I'm sure he could deal with it. And still has a knight camping that one relic there. That's the only relic remaining on the map. We are past the point of Mongol Hunt really being a factor. The economy is looking very good for both players. I'd expect Yo to slightly pull ahead with Vil count because he does have four TCs. But mm -hmm. obviously, that is in theory. We'll see if he actually executes on that. Leary just sold food to buy his castle here. He was kind of looking ready to click Imperial Age by just some idle time. Mm -hmm. But now he sold some resources to buy stone. I'm not sure why he felt like he had to rush the castle up at this point. But, uh, yeah, it's going to slow down on his Imperial Age a little bit. I feel like he is expecting an all-in from Yo at the moment. And I'm looking at Yo's production, and he's only producing villagers. And I think Yo might just place defensive castles and head up towards Imp, which I think would be the opposite of what Leary's expecting, and it could actually really damage Leary mm -hmm. right now. Yeah. Leary is definitely planning on Imper Imperial Age himself, but now he wants to start Mango Day production. And the weakness Leary has right now is the transition to Mangadai that he wants to make. He's got, he has one castle up, he obviously wants to build more, which means he's investing a lot of villages on stone as well. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, Yo is producing full paladin. He's actually going for a four castle, by the way. This is, how many camels are we talking? We're talking 11 cast, uh, camels, there's 40 knights though, but those knights have plus four attack. Yeah, but there's also and... monks. Like, I guess with four conversions, yeah. it could be okay. And the four conversions oh. should happen. Yo doesn't have monks here. The engagement in itself, the opening is really good for Lyrid. And yeah. A lot of knights from Yo was not fighting. I mean, the monks still haven't gotten any conversions yet. I guess mm -hmm. you could just pull your units away from the castle. This is really tough decision making here. I actually think Leary should run at this point because the castle <laughs> will probably go up no matter what. The demo you might goes lose all up. the monks then. Monks. It maybe feels like he doesn't need the monks anymore. Yeah. Scouts coming in to pick up the monks, and yeah, castle will go up. Yo loses a couple of villages, but Yo actually they're up to castle uh, Imperial Age exactly the same time as well. Yeah, interesting Second moment. castle from Leary as well, but I, I feel like Yo just has a way easier way of uh, transitioning here. Like Leary needs has two castles now soon, well soon, and he yeah. wants to produce Mangai. Yo has one castle. He's actually going light this. I thought he would just use that castle to make uh, trebuchets and then go full paladin. But Light seems to be his unit of choice. But maybe so he just... Yeah, that's true. He's not producing any knights whatsoever. Yeah. I thought maybe he just added in Latus as like a complementary unit here. He's adding... Oh, it's going to go Latus Skirm. Skirm is his unit of choice. I thought he would just go like full power play and make like Cavalier and just Trebuchets. Because yeah, yeah. Leary ha would have to be forced into the decision. Does he make Megadar or does he make Trebuchets himself? Well, I mean... But Skirmishes obviously makes sense as well. Leary killed 12 knights and mm -hmm. some villagers delaying that castle. And I think that could have gone into Yo's thinking. Yeah, maybe. Leary's really been cutting upgrades, but he does have the resources to maybe click Elite Mangadai right away. He does have mm -hmm. two castles, and he still has stones secured on both sides. So I'm, I'm actually slightly concerned here for Yo, because if he goes... It's going to take him some time to get the Skirm numbers out. And I don't know if he's ever going to have the Treb number... And the support, I guess we'll see to be able to uh, take out those castles. Mangadai are very good against Siege. We've got nine Mangadai with three more on the way for Leary. Could maybe see a third castle for Leary. Yo's going to go the for, range the, Yo's Yo's gonna go for the forward castle here, Viper. So he knows. Yeah. I, I don't think he knows that castle's there, but he knows that he needs to kill this fast. 
Uh, he should know the castle is there. He has outpost there. He knows the castle is there. Mm, yep, that seems okay. like a very ballsy castle, all things considered. Okay, he goes for a bit of a safer one. It's still very ballsy, but... Yeah. But yeah, like, again, you said you're worried about Yo. I'm more worried about Leary here, because, <laughs> again, Leary is in that spot where... Like, look at his upgrades right now. Yeah, it's Doing really chemistry, late. Bracer, and Elite Mangadai. Yes, Elite Mangadai, but you have you have four. You have two, three. No, actually, he has 11. He has a healthy amount, but... But still, it's like getting those numbers up there is going to take so long. And he has no meat shield to support while Yo is just adding ranges behind. He's going to be able to produce skirmishes nonstop and trebuchets nonstop. Lyra is in that phase where he's forced to decide. And that's exactly what Yo wanted. Yeah, castle in the very back corner is not a good sign, but the castle will complete. And the Mangadai are getting a counterattack in here for Lyra. It's an interesting one because you also want your Mangadai at home to be able to snipe trebs. But I guess you can't snipe trebs. If the trebuchet is right next to that super bold castle from Yo. As skirmishers will have to run home. They're on the way. Lithuanian skirmishers thankfully have the speed. And the Viper Leary, he needs these castles. So yeah. having this castle already being trebbed down is a big concern for him. And he doesn't have the eco to be able to transition into Lightcap or Hussar. Remember, Leary was second place in his group. He had something like 11 wins. And Yo got only nine wins. He got third place in his group. And whoever loses this will be out. It'd be crazy if yeah. Leary or Yo would be out. And Yo has already skirmished his home defending that counterattack from Leary. And Leary is sniping the trebuchets now. There's not enough defense there from Yo. So actually, really nice to them by Leary. He needs those trebuchets down. Actually, this one, he's not going to get the last one, is he? Ooh. Oh, he just gets it in time. But Calculated. He takes a lot of losses mm -hmm. in the process. He's down to 10 Mengra, and half of them are forward or running around on the map right now. And again, this is just a situation where Yo can just make skirmishes, march ranges, bomber cannons, trebuchets from the other buildings, and it's just such a hard position to be in when mm -hmm. you just have three production buildings and one of them is being already kind of sieged down. And it kind of brings us back to some of the earlier things that Mongols have to achieve, right? There's 100 plus deer on the whole map. You think yeah. you're going to have that early rush timing, but Yo's strategy, as we see tower shields now, which makes the skirmishers even stronger, Yo's strategy kind of negated that early Mongol lead, and now one castle is going to be down. The rest of the eco could go down for Leary. That castle in the back corner is so, so <laughs> bad, but I guess he just needs it as a production building right now. My god. Yeah. And Leary identifies what's happening. Though. He knows he needs to meet shield against those skirms, so he's dropping stables, he's getting the armor upgrades, he's getting light cab. If he can build up... like Leary just needs to build up a number where he can take fights without losing ground. Yeah. Right now, his main issue is losing ground. Not The next target as well will be a monastery. That's only two extra relics for Lithuanians. Five to zero relics. Yeah, that's, that's so tough. And, you know, the counterattack's probably the best thing for Leary to do because if he stays at home, he's just going to react the rest of the game and slowly lose his castles. He is getting some great kills. A Mangadai are still Mangadai. It's insane what this unit's able yeah. to achieve. But will Leary have the numbers? He's still only at 12 Mangadai. I have yet to see him get over 20. Yeah, and Yo's, Yo's economy is so healthy anyway that even these, if these Mangadai kill 20 bills, Yo can remake those without a big worry as long as he's gaining ground on the front. Mm -hmm. But Yo only has skirmishers. There are some light cav out now and they have enough upgrades to actually force the issue here. Yo will have to fall back to the castles here and resume Lightest production, which is, by the way, Elite Lightest on the way. Yeah, Elite Lightest. So they have... A uh, little boost of attack from the three relics. Relics there from Leary uh, pop out of the monastery. He'll need to regather those. The Mangadai have actually accomplished a lot in terms of harassment and distracting Yo, even killing quite a few Vils. But I don't see an easy way for Leary to push back the castles. That's the other thing, too. It's like, how are you going to make Trebs if you need your castles to always produce Mangadai from Leary's position? You really can't. Yeah. You, you have to hope that your army can free up enough space to eventually do so tough task for him he hasn't really expanded much to the right hand side viper uh, there's a gold there he's gonna go to some wood that's actually an underrated thing to control on this map is the wood there's a lot more wood towards the middle dude yo is losing so many villains in the bottom now he he's is. trying to build a castle now to secure that area a little bit the skirmishes patrol were patrolling so they went all the way back so there those those have killed probably roughly 30 40 villagers now these manga that's and look at the manga die he's gonna loop over to the other side of yo's eco Mm. Wow, this is so good from Leary. Leary with a 15 population lead all of a sudden. As no well. way, dude. That's awesome. I, I love how he's punished. He's like, oh, you're going to sit in front of my base? That's cute. I'm just going to avoid that and have fun chasing me. And this is going to give me time to get the Hussars. And that eco in the back of Leary's base is amazing. Look at those farms. 
As the Mangadai mm -hmm. on the left kill Vils, Yo does react, but then you have Hussars and Mangadai in the right corner, I guess the south corner. This might get dealt with, but Leary, not ready to go away quietly. This is an amazing finish to the series. For sure. I think Leary's biggest threat right now is going to be the lack of gold down the road. Mm -hmm. He still hasn't collected those two relics, and Yo, look at Yo's bank on gold. He has so much gold left, and Leary has no gold on the right side of the map. There is actually zero gold left to mine as soon as Leary has finished the one, uh, well, the six tiles he has at home. And Yo has plenty of gold on the left side, so gold might be a really crucial factor as the game progresses here. Interesting decision from Yo. He's like, I'm done reacting. I'm going to send my latest forward now. I'm going to kill your monk, because those are my relics now, and I'm going to go in for those castles. And so since he has a castle in the south now, and he also cleared up the Mangadai that were on the left side with his skirmishers, suddenly it's not looking so good for Leary again. But Leary yeah. has to address this now, and here he comes with his Mangadai. 16 Mangadai, 10 Hussars isn't enough here. Yeah, this is a simple situation of defend by attacking, right? He now put enough of an offensive threat that Leary had to pull back everything in order to defend this. So Leary cannot go for these counterattack with the Mangadai when he needs him at home to defend. And mm -hmm. Whenever a castle of Lyra is under threat, he has to defend that because that he's relying so much on having access to be able to produce those Mangai. Yo, you could tell he's toggling through his buildings quite a bit here, actually producing some Cav Archers. I'm going to assume that's not intentional, but maybe it is. Lithuanian Cav Archers aren't the worst. There's the Relic Heist. That's actually huge because he'll get extra attack plus the Gold Income. And it, some great job from Yo here with his Skirmishers hitting the Mangadai, not the Hussars. And the latest are cleaning up everything else. And Leary's castle could go down here, Viper, against one Treb. This is yeah, not a good sign. Ra massive raid on the right side as well. There's nine lights there. Kill a couple of ills. We're heading to the wood line, and the other others have to evacuate. And Leary has stabilized on the front. He will be able to stop the the pressure from coming in. But his stone count is also looking really rough now. He will have to start mm -hmm. buying stone if he wants to keep repairing these buildings. And again, that the gold. There's only two thousand gold left to mine for Leary. And Every single manga that he loses from this point forward is potentially detrimental. Yeah, he really needs that right-hand side or the left-hand side to work. And I don't think the left will work because I think Yo sees that. But there is stone available on the right side, and that's where his army's going now. So I'll be curious to see. Yeah. Yo doesn't actually have trebs now. And so it's really tough for Yo to run into Leary's eco in the north because of the castle. So Yo might actually struggle to find damage, but... As I say that, I'm incorrect. Big Woodline raid coming in. Leary could drop down below 100 villagers with this raid. Yeah, and those uh, those light is two shot villagers. There's like Custeliers coast, almost. They so ignore the armor of every unit in their attack, so villagers are easy targets. And he always being a raid at home as well now by Leary's Hussar, but he has light. Like light is such a good defense everywhere here. Yeah, it's so good to defend these Hussar raids because they kill them so so fast. Man, Yo had a really good outlook on how this game would flow because going forward castles into unique units could oftentimes be seen as a risk. Mm -hmm. But he decided to go for the Latus instead of the Cavalier, and I think it's paid off so far. Again, vision on Absolutely. the left side, so he, he could deal with that. And then he knows now that Leary's trying to expand to the right as he'll take that stone and look at Leary. has to come back again. Also, apparently... The relic countdown is on. I don't know if you see it in Capture H. <laughs> but uh, they should have they should have put conquest on, so ah. there's now a countdown <laughs> to Yo winning the game in 190 years. Obviously it'll just be a gentleman's agreement. Yo will probably eject that if it gets close, but yeah. that just tells Leary that he's being dominated right now. Yeah, it's a constant reminder of the fact that your opponent is Lithuanian has yeah. five relics. Yeah. It's, uh, Quite rough. Oh, could be a big engagement there. Yo has a lot of lighters on the right side now. 21 of them. He wants to make sure that Leary cannot take that stone. Mm -hmm. and Leary just passing and going to raid himself, but he's going into an area where Yo kind of has a castle and it's not really where Yo's, the majority of Yo's economy is. So it's like... The it's raid seems desperate. very desperate from yep. Leary. Yeah. While Yo is doing a really good job on the gold on the, of Leary's side as well. It's looking really, really hard for Leary. Population as well, tells the tale. Yeah, this might be the end for Leary. Uh, yo, <laughs> I, I, I doubt it was intentional, but he started off so slow in Titans League. And now look at him. He's going to knock out Leary in the round of 12. Move on to face that Viper guy in the quarters. And he goes in against the castle now. He could have easily just turned around and come home and use the latest against the Mangadai. Because I think he's got that good of a position. Wait, but... Do they ignore building armor as well? 
I would assume so. I mean, the unit has like 22 castle attack. Went... It's really fast. That castle went down really fast. Honestly, I, I wouldn't be able to tell you like how much damage one would do if they ignored the building armor. Uh, I'm going to assume that one of our viewers is going to bring that up. The desperation raids for Leary continue on both sides, but Yo's got a castle on the left now. And he has skirmishers and Latus turning around to, to go for the Mangadai ball. This is not where you want your Mangadai ball right now. You for need sure. your Mangadai to be somewhere else. Yeah, they, this is kind of like a throwaway Mangadai army at this point because they're they're like trapped. They're, you're in the heart of your enemy's economy. Mm -hmm. You know that you're going to be struggling to get out of there alive. And castles on both that is light is on the left side as well that could potentially come and cut him off, which they are doing right now. And the Illyria population dropping too closer to being below a 100. And with your Mongols down five relics against the Lithuanian guy who has all map control, and you're dropping below 100 pop. That's not the a good GG. Feeling. Yep, that's the GG. The only thing not yet. The Hussar uh, raid is coming. Oh, yep, there it is. <laughs> uh, such hype. Oh, there's the GG. Okay, 104 <laughs> population, and Leary gives him the good luck next. I mean, I said it all before, right? Yo, he had a very weak opening to Titans League, but he is a player who I think performs better the higher the stage gets. And he, he did not want to be knocked out by Leary here in the round of 12. It was a back and forth series. Uh, for Leary, I don't think he had a clue that this strategy was even possible. I think like you, Viper, he felt like going for Hunt is the way to go. And he had Mongols, which was his number one pick, number one civilization for the map possibly. And it mm -hmm. got countered. What a great series from Yo. Uh, I like to see that. As a caster, you know, I like the meta. But I like to break the meta strategies too. It's like Yo knew the entire time that he'd be comfortable here. I mean, now we can think about this as well. His approach here and the draft. Maybe he wanted Leary to have Mongols. Maybe, yeah. So it, it was like Leary is forced to pick Mongols. Then Yo can just pick Lithuanians and whatever else he wants. And he probably, maybe he thought that Lithuanians are favored, so... Could have been a five-head play from you. Yeah, more more wood, more food, more gold collected there. He actually had more of every resource. Obviously, ended up with more relics. Definitely felt like in mid-feudal, even when Leary saw the fishing ships, you could kind of tell when you're watching it. He's like, wait, what? <laughs> wait, yeah, yeah. What, 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 what am I supposed to do against this? And I think his play into the second town center turned it into an even game. But that's not what the Mongols want. The Mongols want to have a lead in the early stages to build off of. Uh, question, Viper, before I let you go here. Thanks for casting this with me, by the way. It was a perfect series. No uh, are you going to be banning Jungle Swamp? Are you going to pick it as your first home map and just bait Yo into Lithuanians again or something? I think I have 100% win rate on this map so far. Mm. So I'm not sure. I, I kind of like the map. Okay. Um, well, I'll, I'll have to think about the Lithuanian picker. Maybe, I, maybe I get rid of that sieve. I, have, I mean, if you have three bands each, might as well, right? Yeah. Okay. So uh, I'll, have to, I'll have to think about it. Yeah, it should be. It should be a fun set tomorrow. Yeah. No, I'm. I'm. I mean, anytime you and Yo play, it, it's been what like seven years. Just like every year, every event we're seeing Viper Yo happen. <laughs> I think in January we saw you guys in the semifinal. So I guess it'll be a little bit of a shame for some that it'll be in a quarterfinal, but that can happen. And uh, best of luck there, man. Again, thanks for casting and uh, letting me know that, that, you know, certain facts about the game, like apparently latest ignore building armor. They do? Sick. I'm being told that they do 100, 105 damage? What? Wait, that can't be uh, right. No, that can't be right. <laughs> that how, does that, how does that make sense? I, I used to say the latest was five relics to 105 damage. Okay, I we will have to fact check later on. We'll uh, trust everyone on YouTube to get the fact check done. Or is that actually right? Did, did they say they get with five relics they do 105 damage against the building per hit? That's what I, I took from the message, but that can't be. Can you like, imagine what it looks like? That's 40 a 48 lightest. hit. Yeah, if that, you have like 40 lightest, you two no shot way. the castle. Yeah, no chance. There's there's no way. Oh, 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 no, no someone chance. said someone said 105, you can resign again. Maybe that was the joke. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I see. Okay. That makes more sense. Funny. Yeah, we're, anyway. we're laughing. Yeah, thanks for having me, dude. It was fun. And uh, you're going to have a long day ahead of you probably with casting. So I wish you all the best. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow. All right, man. In the winner's interview. In the winner's <laughs> interview. <laughs> yeah, appreciate it, man. All the best tomorrow. Yeah. And uh, yeah, Premier League starting this Sunday. Let's go, United.
Okay. Bye bye.